my name is Backstage, motherfucker Scoop up your bitch in my pearl Pearl white sucker ducker Backstage, motherfucker Quick Matthews, America Dicky D902, boom Patch stays, stay tuned The podcast, podcast, podcast Stay sucker free Stay tuned Bitch, bitch, bitch Rolling? Boom, stay tuned. Episode five, man. What's up, everybody? Listen, we got a special guest today. My man Snack the Ripper. It's actually my first time meeting him. Uh, you know, we've phone sex and all that shit in the last like five, six, seven years off and on. <laughs> but now it's the first time, man. Good to, good to find you. Thanks for having here. me, bro. Nah, I got you, man. Man, to my right, introduce yourself, hey, man. Hey, Miracle902, follow me on everything that's important. You dig? Hey, we got obviously just introduce My name is him. Snack the Ripper, West Coast. What's going on? Stomp down killers. Let's get it. Boom. Yes, sir. Quake Matthews. Quake Matthews. Hello. Hello, Dicky D nine oh two. Tip your bartenders. <laughs> Fair view. Yo yo. Um, so we'll get right to it. So snack, you're a rapper. <clears throat> Rap. Fuck out of here. <laughs> don't, you, don't you fucking hate that shit? Yeah. Like everywhere you go, like yeah. every every night, someone's like freestyle. Yeah, freestyle right freestyle. now. Freestyle. <laughs> My style ain't free. Don't, don't you hate that? And, and, and they'll be like, "Well, you're a rapper, aren't you? Just can't you just rap about anything, man? Rap about fucking." Uh, Global warming now. I'm just yeah. like Jesus Christ. Are you a carpenter? You fucking want you pull out your fucking measuring tape right now? And make make me a fucking dog host. <laughs> yeah. Shit. No, the worst. The worst. And you probably you got a huge following, so you probably deal with this nonstop. But when you meet someone, do you, do you, like drinking out and about, and you're not gonna remember everyone. And all of a sudden, you see this guy at a fucking Sobeys or a grocery store or something or a house party. And they're like, "Hey, what's up, man? Talk to you for about five minutes straight." And they're like, "Hey, you you remember me, right? <laughs> what's my name?" No, I don't. Oh, I never get that. Oh, man. As soon as I see someone, it's always, it's always. You get that down the shipyard? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Sorry, Kyle. It's all good. It's always, it's always good to see you again, bro. Even if I've never seen the guy in my life. That's what's sad. That's what I do. Good Uh to see you again, man. They're like, oh. People. He he remembers me. (laughs) People, uh, yeah, people expect the, the weirdest shit of the rappers at all times. You know what I mean? So I don't even, I don't even really like to surround myself with people, especially at a party. If you go to a party, I don't, if, if I, if people invite me to a party where there's a bunch of like, I, I know this sounds crazy, but like fans there, I don't even want to go because it's like, Oh, fucking, fucking battle raps. You suck the free bitch. Yeah. Yo, let, me, let me rap for you, bro. Yeah, rap for yeah. me. I got this 16. You got to hear it. Oh <laughs> my God. Hey, rip him up, man. Rip him up. His, his, uh, his dad yeah. just died, man. Get yeah. him. I'm just like, Jesus Christ, man. I'm just trying to have a fucking beer, man. Or they're just like, you're in the party, but he's getting lit. He's like, man, I've been pacing around all night, man. I've been waiting to do this. You got to hear this song. His cell phone right up to your ear. It's like, oh, fuck's sake. It's you like, probably like going to shows and events and stuff too. I feel like you guys probably get that crazy. I feel like when people watch you too, that it's like people feel like they know you. Like they relate to you. They're fans. That's and I feel exactly like, what it is. Like, you know yeah. what? I feel like people that are whatever, a Drake fan or something is like, that's you know, how I feel right now. They probably walk up to show. Drake. Yeah. Like we <laughs> right. never met before. You're probably like, oh yeah, he's going to fucking say some stupid shit. I was like, these guys, whatever, you know. man, they're fucking ideas on Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> Let me go set the record straight. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like you just feel like you know somebody. So they're walking up to you with that. And you're just like, I don't know you, but hey, man, how you doing? Like, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah, that's my point. Chop I feel like up. it can get awkward. You just meet too many people. That's and what you're I just mean. like, fuck. It's like, bro, I don't remember you. And I don't know what our, our important convo drunk at the club at 2 a.m. was. But, you know, and it's like, yeah, you don't want to disrespect any fan or whatnot at the same time. You try to indulge in the convo. But every now and again, there's someone that gets a little spicy, a little entitled because they know you so well. They're so involved in your music and attached to it that. They feel like your best buds. Hell yeah. Has anyone ever sent you guys lyrics like written down? Like, oh, yeah, yeah. tell My me what God. you think. Oh, like in a word oh, document. Dang. It's like, how am I supposed <laughs> to like hear the cadence, the flow, like any of it? Yeah, just tell me what you think. Like, it's dude, I'm gonna read off a message from today. <laughs> yeah. you know, you got, you and got all the it. rhymes are like, they're like, it's like they got a one of the rhyme dictionaries. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. and it's, like yeah. it's like it's like all like uh alliteration. Like yeah. every everyone, every rhyme is like in the P's and then yeah, it goes yeah. into the S's. It's like <laughs> yeah. they just re- they wrote a bunch of shit down and try to make it make sense. The alphabetical you know? order is I fine. Hate that. Oh. The alphabetical Yo. slaughter. Yeah. Artillery, uh, articulate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yo, the how about the fucking uh when the caps locks and the multis? I'm like, I get it, dude. You don't have to oh, yeah, oh, see okay. you. You don't, you, don't have to, you, don't have to, you don't have to send it. Oh, they caps lock the multi so that yeah, you, yeah. you notice so you, them? So you oh, don't miss shit. one dream. Yeah. Come clean. Like, they're oh. all in caps lock, so you notice the multi. Oh, yeah. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Yo, speaking of, uh, you just said uh, the alphabetical shit. Which you find corny. I don't. Really, I, I don't. Just, I don't give a fuck. Did give it pretty good. Nah, he did it good, yeah, but just give it up. Good. Then he did it backwards. Then yeah. he did, yeah. French, did it in Spanish. All right. Yeah. Like, oh, he did it. Fucking Spanish. Arabic. Like, yeah. Yeah. All right, dude. Like now, so who's that fast rapper? I just tried to. I forgot his name. 
Uh, Mac Lethal. Mac Lethal. So he's cool. You know what I mean? He's cool. Um, Isn't there a battle rap? Isn't there a battle rap where someone goes, Mac Lethal doesn't like black people? Yeah, it's him. It's him. <laughs> Is he racist? No, no, oh. no. That's just being a white battle rapper. You're auto you're racist automatically for no. some reason, right? That's just like unfortunate that it's rotten. His name rhymes perfect with black yeah, people. Yeah, it does. Oh. But <laughs> fucking no. <laughs> no, no, not because of anything about black people. I mean, just for that immediate. That sounded horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Says the token black guy of the show. Like, yeah, fine. Yeah, you just sell Fuck. it. Sell you that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, my so, swastika yeah. falls out of my fucking jacket. Oh, oh. Didn't know I brought that today. Hey, what, me out of room? <laughs> yeah. Hey, how's everyone doing? As a German, I'll just leave. I'm, I have no comment. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to stay here, man. But, but yo, Matt so Lethal made a tweet recently and it said, um, if you know who, the, who he is, he, he does like super fast raps and... Uh, on YouTube, we go viral all the time, and 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 it's and it's impressive for what it is. You know what I mean? But he had a post, a tweet that said, "I used to love the art of you know, rapping fast, but now it's just a bunch of like nerdy white kids on YouTube." And I'm thinking, ah, it's been that way for a long time, man. It's like it, it's like it, 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 he's right. To it, it's corny to an extent because it used to be, you know, like when Twister was doing a bone and all the type of shit, and like it was more it was more impressive. But then it's just like. Every little nerdy, you know, white kid on YouTube. I wouldn't say I, it's been nerdy white kids killing it as of late, but Twister was popping in like. Wait, wait, wait! I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm saying it's been corny. Like I, I get, I almost cringe when I when I see a new white rapper and it was like, and he's like, oh well, what you got? He's like, oh yeah, you want to see what I got? I hit him with a little bit of the rhythm. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh yeah, my yeah. god! Of course you do that. Of yeah. course you fucking you know rap fast. Fuck that that all what? was uh, that Busta verse on the Chris Brown song? I swear to God, there were so many people yeah, that the were challenges trying to, yeah. and shit because oh, people were yeah. trying to do his verse. Internet. And all what those was like that 13 track? year old girls were doing it. Uh, look at me now. That's yeah, what it was. That was the yeah. one. Everyone was doing it. Now there's the Godzilla that. challenge. Yeah. The Godzilla challenge now. Eminem's, right. Eminem's one. Yeah. But yeah, I think that was the first that challenge. That was like the first challenge where people were trying to say yeah. Buster's verse. Y'all ever see that that one with the with the egg and the frying pan that does rap god? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's frying and bubbling. It's going. Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> it looks oh, like it's man. just delivering M's verse to That's a team. But yo, so we've all, as as white rappers, we've all fucking like Done. Dabbled. I ribbon up, given a uh, ready. To, uh, you better be ready. I'm coming to get him. Oh, sure. We all do it. Words, we all do it. Yeah. Words that work that they all say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hit him with the rhythm. Yeah, it's, 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 it's always, <laughs> it's always, it's always like two syllable words like ripping and hitting and. Yeah, yeah. 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 I'm ripping and tipping and dipping. Dip, 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 dip. yeah. 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 Two syllables. Yeah. Right? Why is it gonna happen, bro? Why? Why is it like that? You know why? Because because uh, because white dudes are automatically so fucking corny. We have no other option. We can't be out here wearing bulletproof vests you know what I mean yeah, like, yeah, yeah. trapping out and shit you have no other option to impress people than to try to fucking do the lyrical <laughs> miracle shit right? yeah. yeah also Straight that's up. a really good point and I also think that sometimes some of these guys can't rap on these slow beats you know they hear like a, a dip set tempo beat and they're just gonna be like I'm coming from so they're just like right. yeah. Yeah. I gotta go fast yeah. with a little bit of yeah. 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 double time yeah double time yeah. triple time they're like woo good yeah. job yeah. Porter woo. it's lack of <laughs> swagger and delivery I think it's, yes. it's a crutch yeah. sometimes because it sounds cooler when you Mm -hmm. rap yeah it's a it's a crowd pleaser yeah, yeah. that's all it is it's, it's to a make, great it's, yeah. it's to it's to fool the regular people into thinking you're, yeah you're dope yeah. it's yeah. a great sure. it's a great first Im first impression track like if you bang. listen to a lot of those rappers too they ain't saying shit no yeah there's nothing there's no, nothing no. there like Nothing's there's a couple layered. guys that are that are really fucking dope uh you know with actually like getting a, a point across with that shit like you know like um like that dude ritz if yeah, you ever like yeah. listen to his Yo, shit? I like, like yeah. shit. His shit yeah, actually, he's, he's actually like, he's rapping fast and the and pockets are all dope, but he's like actually getting to a point. You know what yeah, I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's leading up to something. Facts. And then there's other dudes who just, yeah, it's just rhymes, bro. Twista, yeah. to me though, I would listen to him for that. Oh, he's amazing. Yeah. Like Kill yeah. em All. There's a few records Kill like that all, that yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. holy yeah, shit. I was just saying that. Yeah. Twista's probably one of the best at actually like make, general, saying yeah. some shit. Even like, I fuck with MGK when he does it. I don't know. There's some people that just can do it and it still sound cool. I know he dissed your boy, Stan, but I'm saying, no, I actually think that he's, I don't know, he's good at it. Yeah. Uh, Better than the He's person. not that good at it. Uh, you don't think? Yeah, he's, I would, he's I, good, I think Ritz, like, is, Ritz is way better than I him. never heard of him. Yeah, is he a Ritz. cracker? Is that the play on? Yeah, he's white. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Red he's, hair. He's ginger too, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, you know Eminem's a play on candy too, right? Like Eminem, oh, really? chocolate on the inside, different Get color out. on the outside. I thought it was his initials. <laughs> <laughs> that too. I thought you knew that, Stan. Um... Also, I think like uh, Tech Nine, right? Tech oh. Nine oh. is like Tech Nine's like one of the like Special. leading like what do you call them chopper rappers, right? Yeah. Yep. And he his most of his fan base is white, jugglos. 
Yeah. So you think about that. Think about how that influence like went into like the, you know. Yeah. True. I've been a Tech Nine fan for a minute. Too. Yeah. He's tech Nine's dope, man. He and literally he has super a technical. cult following. And he even said oh, yeah. he even said too. He's like, all you new rappers doing the fast shit. He's like, you need to leave spot because like now people do that shit with zero breaths, right? Like they they go yeah. in the studio and they record Punch. it with no gaps. They're like punching no, in every four. There's zero pause. At any point, he's like, yo, how are you going to do that shit live? Yeah. Facts. Yeah, you know? Facts. You got to leave a whole bar out. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. yeah. You know True. what I mean? Have like eight clones up there doing four bars at a time. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Or just punching a verse on your on stage. Yeah. Speaking of cult followings, um, like I would say you have a cult following. What, what do you think makes an artist be able to have a cult following? Like what separates you guys like Tech 9 Like how do you develop, you know, for someone who's an aspiring artist? Like... What goes into developing a cult following? Do you think it's the style of music? Do you think it's the way you deliver it? Do you think, like, what do you think it is? Well, I think, like, I think, like, uh, I think you can either, like, you can make music for the masses. Yeah. Or you can just make, do your own shit. If you do your own shit, you're going to attract people that, um, that like it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't, I compare my music as, like, is like hot sauce, right? Not everybody likes it. Most people fucking hate it, but yeah. some people love it. That's yeah, right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, and the ones yeah. that do love it, like, love it a long time. Yeah, yeah. and I never made, I never right. tried to make music for, like, for, like, the masses. I never tried to, like, do what everyone else was doing. You know what I mean? Like, even, I've been doing the same fucking music and the same style. I've been wearing the same goddamn flannel shirt for 10 years, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? So. That's what makes you you, though, you man. You just got to stick, yeah, exactly. Just do your own thing. And I think then people, you know, people respect honesty. Yeah. yeah. Facts. I think it's the best thing about branding, you know, like wearing the same shirt, keeping it 100 percent yourself, because, you know, in the end, those people have invested in in, in you like emotionally. Yeah. You know? I mean, yeah. And like as a figure and stuff like that. So that, that's how it, it's all your shit resonates for a long time with them. And also lots of touring and shit. Right. Like for the you know, the whole time I've been rapping, I've been touring and then like and I never hide. You know what I mean? Like I go out and do the fucking handshaking and autographs and shit every night. So that could have something to do with it. As soon as you talk to a kid or like anybody, like right mm. face to face, and fan listen, for life. Yeah, yeah listen yeah, to him. Just like yeah. just let him say one thing to you. It's like exactly. yeah, instantly they're gonna support you and feel like they're connected to you. So exactly, you know that's it's basically all I've ever done, man. Because I didn't have the opportunity. You know, I didn't. Have, I didn't. I knew I wasn't gonna blow up commercially. So I was like, what other option do I have? You know what I mean? Just fucking handshakes and fucking smiles, man. It's a way to do it. Um, I was gonna wait for this question, but. You, you're kind of leading into it um, in, in, a, in, a, in a different way, but I know personally the struggle um, with sobriety and quitting, you know, drinking and all that type of shit. Mm-hmm. If anyone fucking knows, it's me um, and a lot of other people, but touring and stuff like that. Can you tell me if it was tough at first, like touring and not having that fucking shot before you get on stage or just not having a, just to loosen up or... You know it, what I mean? Yeah, it was it was tough for like maybe like the first week or some shit. That's it. Yeah. But like for me, it's easy because because like growing up, like uh, my life was my most of the problems in my life as a ch- like when I was a child all stemmed from my dad being an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like my family broke up because my dad was an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like all that shit. So so I always resented my dad like as a teenager and shit. Like he, he only called when he was drunk. You know what I mean? He only called to like bitch about my mom or whatever. So I wouldn't answer. You know what I'm saying? I was like, fucking hate that guy, man. Fucking asshole. Right. <laughs> and then I got a baby on the way and I'm like, yo, and I'm a fucking drunk piece of shit. Cokehead all, you know, doing all sorts of shit. And I was like, yo, I'm just not, I can't be that guy, man. So, Straight you know, down. before my son was born, I, I had like a, I had this one bender, man. It was just crazy. I don't, I was in like a one town that was like five hours away from home. I don't even remember going home and shit. Term drove me home. And must have carried me into my house and put me to bed and shit. And uh, I woke up. Yeah, it was just like the end. The breaking point. eh? Yeah. And then I was like, you know what? I can't do this shit anymore, man. Like I got a kid coming. I don't want him to. I don't want to be my dad. That's that's manning up right there. So Yeah. So that was that's why it's easy for me. Like it's not easy for everybody because nobody had an alcoholic dad growing up. For me, I just resented him. So I was like, fuck it. It's this will be easy to, you know. To be a good, like, like anybody, if you, like, I bet you, like, you're a good father, man. I see it online and shit. You love your kid. You're open about how much you love your kid. I'm assuming that you probably didn't have the best dad growing up. Maybe you did, but he's probably not as loving. Am I right? 
Um, yeah, I, I really don't like my father was around till I was about 15 and I don't, and I don't remember that much about our loving relationship. Yeah. Like my mother, on the other hand, was like the most super loving you could ever imagine. Right. Um, I don't know if, if I got it from my dad, but it was just like, you know, my surroundings a lot. And, um, but the fatherhood is, is the is shit that changes you a hundred percent. You yeah. know what I mean? Like you, yeah. So, so for me, and I don't get too in depth on it. It was a really bad, and I'm, I can't say I haven't drank since because I had a couple the other night, but not. I came home one night. It was I haven't been home for a couple of days. Caused some shit. Came home, smashed some bullshit. Seen my daughter crying, and 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 my girl was holding my son at the time, and he was crying too, and that was traumatizing for me. I was like, oh no, because you can do anything to me in the world, dude. You could do anything, bro, anything. But for me to lose my fucking family, dude, that would be the most horrifying thing in the entire world. And I knew it, it was inevitable if I kept doing this type of shit, I would lose my fucking family. And some man would be holding my fucking son, yeah. eventually kissing my son on the fucking forehead yeah. and being playing a fall. Even though I'd always be there, you, you, there's nothing you can do to me to take away from me from my fucking family. So there you go. So you're on the same page as me. And like, yeah. that's that's the one thing I'm confused about. Like when I see dudes that have kids, but they're out at like clubs, like, and just, you know what I mean? Doing whatever the fuck they're doing. I, I don't get it. You know no. what I mean? I'm like, yo, I don't know, man. Your story, story, your story, me, your story resonates purpose. with me like heavily because I have a kid on the way right now. Yeah. Their daughter. Is your first? It's my first. Yeah. And my father wasn't involved in my life at all. He was an alcoholic. You can be a good dad then. Battling drugs. And then I found myself at a point a few years ago doing pretty much the same thing. No kid yeah. on the way then. Yeah. But substance abuse, drinking heavily. And I and I and I I just flipped up, flipped it all over, changed my whole life. Didn't drink for like a year straight. Get a better grip on shit, right? Putting yeah. putting drugs and whatnot down. And and now I'm like, now I got a kid on the way. And don't get me wrong, like Pat said, like I, I have a drink here and there too. For still. Sure. But I got much more better control over it, and I and I always used to blame my father for it too, right? And this and that, and you and it just I thought it was an excuse, but really I was just fueling the downward spiral that I was in, yeah, and justifying it, man. Yeah, and it never did pan out until I took control of it and looked in the mirror and was like, "Yo, responsibility time, time to man up." And all that shit happened for a reason to make you the man you are. Exactly, you know and I, mean? I feel like I'm in the best position possible to have yeah. have it. How old's your son, man? He's gonna be two this month. Isn't it fucking dope as fuck? It's amazing, bro. How I, dope is it? I call my I call my girl today and uh, and and uh, she didn't even answer. I just heard hello. Oh. Okay, right? <laughs> he didn't, he didn't, he, yesterday yeah. he didn't even know how to say hello, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> so fine. every day that I talk to him, like when I'm away, is crazy. It's like he's learning new words and shit, and like and uh, yeah, I wish I could get into more, but I gotta keep it on the DL. But anyway, um. Yeah, man, it was a fucking dope morning. It was a good morning. Oh, no, with, uh, every every day when I get to talk to him in the morning is like that's what like that's like my coffee. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, instantly feel up. better, you know. And inspiration too. Like Hell I talked yeah. to somebody the other day. It's, it's weird about having a kid. I'm like, dude, do you under? He's like, oh, I don't know if my business is gonna. I was like, dude, when you wake up and your son's like gives you a kiss or like hi, daddy yeah. or anything, you're yeah. like bursting like you want to do good you have you're gonna have a fucking super fucking um a, a great productive day you yeah. know because, because you're happy you don't wake up your son kisses you i love you and you're just like oh i'm gonna go punch him in the face that's, that's what it i'm doesn't saying happen. you know that's why that's another reason why i'm not <clears throat> drinking and shit is because like before bro before you have kids like if you don't have kids then 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 this is what it is like you're you're kind of living through life without i mean i'm not gonna say you don't have a purpose but all of our purposes here is to fucking reproduce, man. I mean, yeah, we're, we're, I believe we're, that. we're a germ, bro. And we're, me we're meant to spread. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. But anyway, <laughs> I like that. But no, anyway, <laughs> well, look, at, look, like look at us from Earth, man. You know what I mean? It's just like fucking people just spreading around pollution. Anyway, all I'm saying is, you know, before I had a kid, I didn't have any purpose. I was just like, I woke up. I was miserable, bro. Mm -hmm. I fucking hated. I remember things from last night. I was fucking, you know what I mean? Fuck you, fucking faggot. Blah, blah, blah. You know what I mean? Just always yeah. pissed, always negative. Yeah. You know what I mean? Now when I, you have no other choice when you have a little kid, but to, even if you're, even if I'm in a, the worst mood when I wake up, it's like you said, man, he hops in, he's like, daddy. And I'm just like, instantly forget about it all. Every day I wake up with zero, uh, you know, yeah, zero depression or, or anger or anything, man. I'm I just, think wanting to be a role model too is so important. Hell yeah. Um, yeah. Like, yeah, man. And you Every don't have, day. and you don't just have that time. positive energy. You know what it's like to just like, especially if you have negative shit growing up. That's right. No, no matter what it is, if it's substance abuse or anything, I think it's, you want to be better than that and make them better. Cause you know, the impact it had on you, right? Has your career changed? Like since you've had a son? Cause I know with Pat, before you had your son, it was 
on record as the worst year of your battle career, am I, right? Yeah. So, and then when you had your son, all of a sudden you had the best. Came a fucking superhero, the, man. The best fucking year of your career. Yeah. Did you see anything career-wise that changed, like, you know, the this boost of morale? Yeah, or... anything, like, with your career that changed after your son, before or after your son? To be honest, like, maybe just motivation. That's about yeah. it. Like, before I used to just, like, I was slower, you know? Take yeah. me longer to put out albums or work on shit. Now I'm like, damn, I got to move quick. You Effective know what I mean? like as can be. Yeah. Trying to move faster now. That's about it. Okay. Probably you know? use your time less selfishly too when you, ha when you have to manage it for not only yourself anymore, but... Well, that's what Four I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. The only difference I really notice that I'm fucking tired all the time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you, you probably relate. Like you wake up and you have to do dad shit all day long. And then it's like when my kid goes to bed at eight or nine, that's when I'm and I'm already bagged by that time, but that's when I get my free time. So then that's when I go to the studio. And then I'm already I've already smoked like seven joints all throughout the day. <laughs> so by nine o'clock I'm just like Yes. <laughs> trying to write and shit, I'm fucking half retarded. <laughs> but, anyway. Yo, they say um a child will make any man softer. Has For it happened? Sure. Has it happened Hell to you? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, my son, and I, and I want you to, because I, I want to continue. My son, every night before bed, dad, dad, kiss, kiss, comes up and gives me a kiss, hug, hug. Good night, daddy. Love you. I'm like, oh, I'm a little bitch right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. I, I'm in tears almost, almost like every, at least third time. I'm like, holy fuck. Like this, this is the most, like, I'm just like, you oh go my. in the next room, punch a hole in the drywall. Oh my God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like a it, man it, again. It, 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 it's something you walk out the door like, oh, fucking take my money. I'm a little pussy, but you just, you just, your heart just grows, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. It sure does. Do you wear the ski mask at home? No. <laughs> but my kid, but my kid, anytime he sees ski mask, he goes, daddy. Oh, he does, he it to you? Yeah. Yeah, and same crazy. with my same with my my logo and shit. He I, he knows it, eh? Yeah, because I have stickers. Like I got. Oh, actually, I saw that on your on your thing when they were going through. Yeah, I'm somewhere. addicted to putting the stickers up. Yeah, I'm a graffiti yeah. writer, so like, and I'm not trying to do graffiti and get arrested, so I'm just putting yeah. stickers everywhere. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. My, in my like, this is what Sackville. Where yeah, we're yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I live in a the Sackville of Vancouver. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, so I was like, where you were. I'm at, like man. putting stickers everywhere. My kid like goes, he sees them everywhere. Yeah, we were daddy. We were talking about the fast rap there and uh, music wise, because you got bars, like you're you're all on the Maltese and the syllables and you're, you're a technical writer now. Is that the type of like, do you prefer fast rap? Do you prefer music with, like what you like to listen to? Do you prefer people having bars or or do you like trap music or shit that's just a wave, the cool guy music? Yeah, who like, made you like get into like, what rap? Is, what yeah, your what is your, what is your preference music? <clears throat> I like everything. I like I like all like I, my older brother was a thief. You know what I mean? He was born in 79. So like in the 90s, my brother was like stealing CDs. He had hundreds of CDs. So I listened to everything, bro. Like from like Bay Area shit to like mm. all the East Coast shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like anytime he was gone, I could just go in there and listen. So I mean, it was mostly just being influenced by all rap and just being a 90s kid. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what's up. We were there in a good era when fucking music was dope. And That's right. It wasn't like oversaturated and shit. You know, a lot of these young kids now, they're just being influenced by by garbage you know Facts. what i mean like shit like facts i don't know bay area shit like what i don't know i hate i hate bay area shit now like like i mean like like sure you know you give them their their credit for what it is but like mm. i do I you love or hate e40 i fucking hate e40 <laughs> I, don't, I don't hate E Forty. I respect E Forty for his legacy and who he just does and music who he made, like what he did for like his area and shit. But like his his voice, man, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't, I can't even <laughs> do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, there's yeah. rappers in Vancouver that like that, like you know when E Forty was like popular, right? Like because because we're on the West Coast, right? So oh when, yeah, there's like you know when when E Forty in that like Bay Area, like like mm. hyphy was like popular in 2004. That's and shit. right, motherfuckers in Vancouver, like started biting that style and dude it's 2020 and they're still doing it man like <laughs> yeah i mean like he's the man i actually love he's dope he's on like, his he's like 24th so album too yeah, yeah he's, he's still going man i just i just can't like you know like i said i don't hate him and, yeah. and i respect what he did I'm but for a, me his his voice doesn't Hit my yeah. palate. Right. You know what I mean? He does got a crazy voice. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm not a huge E40 fan. Like and but. he's like featuring on a song or whatever. Yeah. Oh, I can fuck with it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, oh, here comes E40. Fucking turn it down. Make a call real quick. Yo, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, E40 part's over. Okay, here we go. No, man. Hey, check this out. E40, like him or hate him or love him, he kills people on songs. And here's another person that does this too. Too short. 
People don't yeah. be like, oh, I hate Too Short. I like Too Short. I love Too I Short, love too short yeah. right? But Too Short actually kills everybody on any feature. Jay-Z, he beats him on a fucking feature. People, somebody mentioned that recently. Somebody credible. <laughs> I don't know what's okay. you know, no, he does on that. <laughs> it was all good just a week ago. Yeah, that's, oh, yeah, he yeah, yeah. bodies him on bodies that. Bodies that shit. He bodies, you know, oh, my God. You know, I I that song. It's that not even about, because he's not trying to be lyrical. It's about no. his, it's his fucking style, bro. It's his, like his, his voice and yeah. shit when he comes on. But it's he, what he he's says. He's undeniable, too. Yeah, and it's so real. There's no way he's going to go in there like 50. 50 takes, these is like, oh, I got to do it again. You know he just does it just One like take, that, yeah. natural, while on the phone, getting his dick sucked. Like, <laughs> and it just makes so- a difference when you believe what they say. <laughs> yeah. I just believe 100%. too short. I just 100%. believe him. Yeah. Anything he says, I'm like, yeah, that happened. Great live performer, too. I seen him live one time. It was fucking amazing. Too like, short? Unbelievable. <laughs> I believe yeah. it. I believe yeah. it. In, in Atlanta, me and you. Was he, was he there that time? Yeah. No, I think I seen him in Texas. But was he? Yeah, he was there he was when there. we were there too. He Yo, was on there. the topic. Yeah, yeah, on yeah. the topic though of live performances, like that's another super important shit that most rappers don't even like. People don't take that shit seriously whatsoever. Like, right. oh, I'm gonna go with this, show up, get my money. You know what I mean? Motherfuckers are playing their MP3 in the back. Like, got five of their homies. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> on the stage or the like, dude. I, I seen um, who the fuck? I seen Nas live, bro. And I don't know if he's just tired or whatever, but dude, I was rapping his verses better than he was rapping. His man, he, he's, not, he's, he, I heard that. He wasn't man. putting any effort in, bro. He's just standing there like this, like, meh, 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 meh. you know what I mean? I was like, I, I was, that, I was let down. I find like, he's my favorite artist, but I find like he doesn't have a voice that projects and he like kind of runs out of breath sometimes. And it, well, he's getting older or whatever, yeah. but like, I mean, I don't know. All I'm saying is like, is like rappers, that's, that's another reason, like, like I might not be the biggest rapper or whatever, but my yeah. fans will always come to my show because I always fucking. Go and that's hard. where the most of the money's at. That will. That's where all the money's at. Not all of it. Merch, tickets. To be honest, for me, like that. That's like the. That's not all the. Like the majority where of my your, money comes, it come comes from? from streams. Really? Yeah. And more like than whatever shows? digital revenue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Way more. Really. Way more. Wow. That's... Shows shows is good, but it's like it's like it's not continuous. Like I'm not always on tour. I'm that's on tour. right. I only tour like maybe like twice or three times a year, right? I do a Canada tour, I do a Europe, a Europe tour, and that's it. You know what I mean? Oh, and you okay, got a big yeah, enough yeah. following that if they're, they're active online, listening to your shit Crazy. day in day out. That's but I also numbers. have a huge discography too. Like I yeah. got I got eight albums of my own, and then I got all sorts of features and shit, yeah. and so on and so forth. So straight up. But I also think like when you make like uh, that's another thing too is like it has to be your content, you know, like rapping on other people's beats doesn't you can't monetize that shit. That's right. so i don't know i've never done that so i don't know but all my shit is like original content so once you make a song or whatever i was trying to make my shit relatable to like the regular regular guy you know what i mean a regular person you know if hopefully they can relate and then if people relate to the shit then they'll keep listening to that's it. replay you know value I mean? yeah exactly they'll they'll hit it up because of a feeling or whatever that's right and then when you got enough bulk content that kind of has that, you know, I'm not going to say I, I make classic shit, but to my fans, they consider some of the songs classic in their own That's way. Right. Or, you know what I'm saying? And, and and as soon as you do some shit like that, then it just has replay value for them. Yeah. Like, I'm not making new fans. I don't get any new fans ever. Bro. Really? I make, well, I mean, slowly, but but I feel like, I feel like the I'm lo- I lose fans, but I gain fans. I yeah, lose yeah, fans, yeah. but I gain fans. So it always kind of stays around the same. Is there ever ones that come back? I notice there's people that like, go away for a couple albums then they're coming back oh i haven't heard you since this song like there's like the fickle fan for sure yeah for sure like i had fans like and and it's all generational too you know what i mean like yeah like when i first started 10 years ago like i had all my fans were teenagers and now all those same people you know what i mean like these kids like they're all like oh man i lost my virginity to your tracks or whatever (laughs) now they're all like 25 26 they're having kids and fucking you know what i mean like you're and, making and a moment in they their all life. disappeared yeah. for a little while and then i got and then my girl got pregnant and i was like hey look i'm a dad and all of a sudden they're like holy fuck i relate just snack again. yeah you know, yeah, like, yeah. and then they tune back, back in and just having a kid you know what i mean that's wild we you grow with your fan base yeah. so that's the thing right should have a kid life quick? waits for nobody should yeah <laughs> yo <clears throat> i think the biggest <clears throat> misconception or I won't even say misconception the biggest mistake and I and I, I I'm one of them that uh, is is fucking around with the business not knowing the business of a uh, you know in in hip hop and people can be the best rappers ever and have the you know the best connects ever but if they don't have their business correct if if there was one 
major or, or a couple major lessons you've learned and important things in the business? What would you say? If, you, if there was a couple rappers in front of you that you s believed in super like, crazy, but you wanted to give them a heads up. I would say, I would say, don't just focus on the music itself. Like focus on everything. Like, like if you have to rely on other people to do things, then you're doing it wrong. You know what I mean? If you can't, if you don't learn how to use Photoshop or learn how to edit a video or learn how to direct your own videos, like you need to be in control creatively of your whole shit. If is the second you're relying on other people to like artistically like direct your career, then you're you're losing out. If you have to wait for people to do shit for you, then I like that. You're 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 losing. And then I had another one too. Um, build a team. Yeah, you know I mean you can't do everything yourself. Like like I said, I I can do everything myself, but it take longer. So I like. You know, I'll direct some shit, but then I'll be like, yo, you, I can't shoot myself. You know what yeah. I mean? So I need to have a guy who I trust that knows how to yeah. shoot the video. And you know what I mean? But then I could take that footage. I can go home and edit it myself. Like that shit I did with uh, class. The class is shit. You know what I mean? They gave mm -hmm. me two days, bro. Yeah. They're like, yo, you got two days to write a verse, shoot the video and send us the footage. And I was like, Psh. wrote the verse, got my young homie to like do the, the shit. Yeah, Most yeah, of the yeah. footage sucked because I didn't know my verse well enough, but yeah. And then I was like looking at all the footage and like there's like double chins. I'm like, nah. I'm like, fuck, man, I can't send this shit. These guys are gonna make these guys are gonna make me look ugly as fuck on purpose. <laughs> yeah, rappers are rappers. But <laughs> yeah. so then I was like, fuck it. And I just edited my my part of that video myself, sent them the shit, and then I just sent them a few clips, you know what I mean? Like to to do whatever. You know what mm. I mean? But then that way at least you're in control of your own brand and like your own um your image. You know That's what I mean? Right. That's right. But yeah, it's it's a it's a brand, bro. Like like you have to be you have to be a brand. You have to know the people who who listen to you, mm -hmm. you know? I, I like know. that. I like that. I don't know. Did you um my boy Nino Bless, shouts to Nino Bless, he told me the importance of like the smallest things, like collecting all your fans' emails, having all those. He, he, said, he said that should be like step one. Like that's a you know and, That's that's important. I mean, it was more important a while ago when when email was super big, but like email email is only for like a specific generation again, right? Mm -hmm. It's like our age. You know, or like people like from like 25 and up people that are like teenagers now, they don't even fuck with emails. Bro. No, no. Like hit me on Snapchat. Yeah. yeah. Right? They use yeah. the like, email once to log in and then they never log in again. They just open that. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Emails, are it's important. And, and I have one of those MailChimp accounts or whatever, where you can like yeah, send a I mass email one. to everybody. Yeah. But That's like awesome. only like. 30% of the people open that shit. Yeah, you can you know monitor. I mean? Yeah, it shows you how it. many got yeah, open, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like, is it really effective? You know, I don't know. The whole social media thing kind of is fucked up because you got to like pay to be seen basically at this point. You know what I mean? Like if you're trying to like, like for instance, playing a show and shit, like like you got to you gotta boost the events and shit or else your fans won't even know you're coming. Like, like dude, we didn't even have a Halifax show until last week. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. And then we, we did it, but we didn't, we didn't have any time to promote. So we're like, fuck it. Let's just, you know, we had to throw 50 bucks on the fucking Facebook event. Page. Yeah, oh, yeah. fuck, man. What yeah, a dickhead yeah. I am, man. If I would have known that, I would have fucking been black. That's that's my bad. That's it's a, all good. No, man. no, you could, I should have. Yo, but here's, here's the beauty of it, though, boys, is that, is that, like I said, we do our, sh we do shit ourselves, right? Like, like I could have shown up here and got some fucking fuckball promoter to pay me, you know, a thousand bucks for the show, but we do all the tickets ourselves. We do VIP meet and greets ourselves. All that shit. Like, dude, there was eighty people there <clears> last <throat> night, but I made five rack. You know what yeah, I mean? That's what's up. It's not the best money, but like, yeah. you know what I mean? You were on tour with me, so like, yeah, you see yeah, how yeah. it is. Some shows are weak, but even the weak shows we're caking because we're yeah. doing it all ourselves. We're not. We didn't. We cut out that middleman. Yeah, you know what I mean, yeah, like, yeah. do the extra lag work and get rewarded for it. Exactly, exactly. And you got to take the L too, right? Like, I had to buy my own flights and buy my own hotels and shit like that. But in the long run, like, that's just, you know, that's a little bit of money you invest to make more money. You know, like prime example, a couple years ago, the two years ago, man, I played in Edmonton, which is one of my bigger markets. Alberta is really good for hip hop. They really support shit there. But I made like three grand for the show. The promoter, was, they've been paying me fucking like, you know, two grand, three grand, two grand for years. And I was like, fuck it. Let's do it ourselves this year with Mark and fucking dude. I made 25 rack on one night. Hey. Do you know what I'm saying? So I was like, Psh. After that, I was like, I'm not fucking so fucking they're with keeping none the majority. Of they're probably keeping the majority of that. Hell yeah, yeah, bro! Yeah. For what to make a Facebook event and to fucking yeah. to 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 find the venue that we already know we're gonna play at anyway? Yeah, we may as well just holler at the venue and say, "Yo, you guys keep the door. We we keep the 
you, or you keep the booze, we keep the door. And, yeah. You know, let us in, you know, that's your audience. Yeah, exactly. Why is somebody <clears throat> else? Why is somebody else deciding what we get paid for that shit? Yeah. And it's the same with like music streams, too, and shit like that. Like why? That's the thing I don't get about people who are like, yeah, I got a distribution deal with a with a label right now. Like, what do you mean you got a distribution deal? What is distribution, bro? You're putting your shit out in front. of I mean, I get it. I just got out of mine so I can explain what it is. But it's like, but it's like false promises, though. They're like, oh, we'll put you on playlists or we're going to do this or we're going to get you that's what it more is. publicity and shit. But really, you know is. what's going to get you the most publicity is just content, bro. Making as much content as possible. Good yeah. quality content. Like you told me to get out of that shit and I left. Good. Go good yeah. job, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, best, yeah. best thing you, you yeah. can do now. Put all your shit up. And yeah. start pumping it's out all, content. It's all mine now. All yeah. that comes to me, I don't wait for them to it's send the me best, a check. It's the best, bro. And yeah. then you can understand. You can see it right in front of you. Like, like if you put, if you made one song and it's not that dope, or you make a handful of songs, you can see which ones are dope and which ones aren't. Yep. Which ones are hitting and which ones yep. aren't. And it helps you for the next time. Facts. You know what I mean? With you know, understand your audience a little bit better. You know, that's Facts. game, bro. That's <clears> super duper. Top right there. How do you that's guys link up? You mean Quake? Yeah. Uh... I don't through know. I think through I, Bishop? Yeah, I think I met. No, I think I met you. Yeah. Yeah. He was in Toronto. And uh, man, this was wild. Like I was on the flight. And you know how when you leave Spotify, sometimes it just jumps to like the next song or whatever. So like one came on. I was like, what is this? Like, this is dope as fuck. And I it sounded familiar. And I was like, oh, shit, it's Snack the Ripper. So then I get to Toronto for like something totally unrelated. And then I hit Bishop up. He's like, oh, yeah, Snack the Ripper's performing tonight. It was like a three minute walk from my hotel. So I'm like, okay. Like, I, yeah, I, go. I just seen this shit. Yeah. yeah. I was like, cool. So went down and met you. And then I think the next time was you came here and then, Oh yeah. And then you yeah. came to the show. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I came to the show like a few months later and then, uh, way up, I put it on my, uh, on my story. And I was like, who do you guys hear on the second verse? And I think you messaged me. I was back. like, me. He's like, me. Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah, that tracks. Oh, right. Send it right crazy, back bro. to me. Send it right back to me. That, like, you guys like, like two days or something. It, man. Yeah. I was like, oh, fuck, I need to be on that one. I remember when you showed me that. We were at the gym. And you were like, yo, bro, check this. Blah, blah, blah. It's just a yeah. little idea yo, and I the got. the best is he, yeah. he comes out to shoot the video. And, and fucking. <laughs> and we and the guy who's directing the video is like, I got pyrotechnics. We're, we're, we're good to go. We show up. We show up. And it's like, hey, snack. This guy. He was fucking, he was ecstatic about the fire. He come back and goes, Dude. bro, we got fire in the video. My <laughs> <way>. <laughs> it wasn't just normal though. fire. It wasn't like a barrel with some fire in it. These guys had like giant propane Bro, this guy was not certified with like a trigger. at all. He was like, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. And like, yo, this I was guy's scared. like, this guy's like, to death. he's rapping and all of a sudden there's like explosions behind <laughs> us. And we're like, <laughs> like <laughs> cowering. Yeah. Kind of, like, Holy fuck. And all you see is propane tanks Skin and fire everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> and bro, the guy, t the guy <laughs> didn't seem like he knew what he was doing He had no fucking. And I, that guy was just one of those like, redheads who like screws things together and burns shit. He was you know like, I mean? smoking like, a dart with yeah. him. He's probably yeah. he, like makes Pop pipe bombs and shit. Yeah. Pocket yeah. full of matches, smoking a cigarette. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Big dart. Water bottle of gasoline. Yeah. The funny part too is like we were doing it like just in an industrial area right by the airport. Like there's no, <laughs> we had like no uh, no permit or nothing. nothing. Yeah. It was Why? Remember the guy yeah. came outside? He This guy like the flames are shooting like 10 feet in the air. The guy comes outside. He's like, He's like, what you guys doing? You guys doing? <laughs> and we're like in his little industrial block. And we're like, oh, we're just shooting a music video. And he's like, tree on right fire now. in the back. Right <laughs> <now."> <laughs> just stood there watching for a second. And this was like loud explosions. Like it would shake you off your feet. Like this was yeah. like. The flames were like 10 feet high. Like the real You can feel the heat on the back. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then the guy shooting the video, he's like, move a little closer, guys. Just get a little closer to the flames. I'm like, fuck, man. I noticed in the video you were graphing and shit. So you you mentioned it earlier. You've yeah. been doing that for a long time or oh, just yeah. something you've been since, into? Since 96. That's so you, you That's were part kind of like of a clique or anything like that? Or? Yeah, a few crews. Yeah, like like just West Coast graffiti crews. Mm. Uh, e ETC and, uh, and SDK, basically. That's, That's kind of how I started in rap was was uh, graffiti. You know what I mean? Like I just led you to the culture. Eh? Yeah, mm. like I was just one of those angry kids when I was a teenager, and I lived in the suburbs, so I was like, you know, listening to too much Tupac and shit. That's and, right. Uh, and I met a dude who who did graffiti, and I was like, yo, this shit is fucking dope. I remember chilling with him like beside like Seven Eleven, just like painting shit, like out in the open, not even worried about cops or nothing, you know. And then. And then, yeah, it just kind of kept going and kept going. And then I, that was kind of like my first taste of fame. Was like, that's, that's dope. Like, so how did graffiti gangs work? Do y'all like operate at night? 
Like, cause I ain't never seen no one in yeah, broad day, charges. broad day oh, yeah. spraying graffiti on walls. Like, but you yeah, just wake well, up like, one day it's, and it's like, a, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like that's the fun part of it is like, is like doing shit without anyone seeing. You <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. You could do it in the day or you could do it at night, but the whole trick is, is don't let anyone see. You and know, because as soon as somebody sees, and you don't know if they called the cops, they don't know <laughs> if they have their your description. You know what I mean? Like, that's right. Is so, it part of the culture where a lot of them don't show their face? Like the bigger guys, like I've noticed sometimes like that. Well, yeah. where it's like, you know the tag, but it's like so they don't well show done, their yeah. face. Yeah, it's it's faceless notoriety. You yeah, know what I mean? like, like that Banksy dude. Uh, Leading into that real it. quick, that's why Stomp Down has the fucking ski mask logo. Like, like for instance, when mm, I first started yeah. with Stomp Down, I was already known as a graffiti writer all the way across Canada. Like I, I lived in Toronto and Montreal. Like I was the first graffiti writer outside of montreal to paint the montreal subway oh wow you know yeah. I mean? so like in the early 2000s and shit i was like going ham on graffiti like the, <laughs> I, I was just didn't give a fuck so is that what That's led what to some of your cult following in rap did it translate over i think over? so i think so like mm, yeah. i have a lot of graffiti writer fans for sure yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. i mean but over the years i've slowed down and they've kind of trickled away as well but yeah but i mean and then you know in the beginning i, I was worried because i was I was snack the graffiti writer that people know. And now I'm trying to be a rapper and I'm like, fuck, what am I going to do? Show my face. Everyone's going to know who snack is. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. maybe I, uh, cops are going to show up with warrants and yeah, shit. Make yeah. The direct that comparison. caused mad damage like, mm -hmm. across Canada. <laughs> so I was like, fuck, I was worried. So then, and, and I, I was like, I got to shoot a video for this song. I was like, maybe I'll just wear a ski mask. Uh, yeah. I was like, that'll be my thing. And dude, like I know now everybody wears ski mask and video. It's like people got ski masks in their name. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's like, right. But in 2006, no one was wearing ski masks. Nobody. Was it was it was it was Wu Tang. Yeah. In '93, wore ski masks. Yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, yeah. motherfuckers were scared of ski masks that's in right. 2006. Everyone's wearing silver suits and shit. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> that's what it was. <laughs> take you know that. I mean? Take that. I feel like 100%. that's a crazy lifestyle. So, so I showed up to the video shoot wearing a ski mask, and and all these guys were like, "Yo, all right, let's do this." You know, and and yeah. I wore the ski mask, and then but we got so drunk by the end, I you know slowly pulled it up and had it on my head and blah 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 and then it kind of just went from there you know what i mean it became kind of like part like, of the brand yeah exactly i was i was originally thinking i was like i'm just gonna wear a ski mask all the time it'll be like mf doom shit like no one will ever see my face mm. i'll just be this guy who wears a ski mask yeah. i should have went with that you, you know what i mean because then now you know like i said everybody was wearing ski masks it's like the cool thing to do now get some gold friends get a ski mask let's get an airsoft gun we got a music video you know what i mean like everybody's Ross. trapping with their ski masks on it's like bro 10 years ago nobody was doing that shit. that's right i know you a know? guy who uh who he doesn't have the i'm just gonna be honest he doesn't have like the greatest image and his face looks funny when he raps because it's just totally not him yeah. but he's a he has really good lyrics and a decent voice i said bro I've been telling him this for years. If you want to come out as a rapper, you should probably just wear some type of a mask and then you'll be like, it'll be like, you know, mysterious. You yeah. know what I mean? But when you rap, when I see you rap, <clears throat> I'm like, nah, it's not yeah. you. You're bullshitting yeah. me. I don't even know. This Do is we not know who it is? <clears throat> yeah, you know who it is. Oh, yeah. I know it's, a couple of these like that. I was going to say, that's proven to work <laughs> for a few people. Like, don't, da Daft Punk, they, they wear helmets and shit. Oh, yeah, Daft Punk, Dead Mouse. Bro, Marshmallow. Yeah. Or, Yo, yeah, there's yeah, a, he yeah. wears like a bucket Yo, over his head. Yo, there's a dude, I wish I knew his <laughs> yeah. name. He's, I don't know if he's like in a yeah, German or some shit, but I just came across this one dude, and he's got the fucking weirdest, scariest, like, it's like a real tight mask on his oh, face, fuck. and the nose comes out like this, and there's just a hole for his, <laughs> his but he wraps Slip right? not. I think it's German, bro. No, he, but, And he's big, and, like, he kind of reminds dope. me of Pat Stay. Like, he's, like, he's like a big motherfucker. Is but he he's nice? Like, but he's, like, yeah, well, he's German, so I don't know what the fuck he's saying. But, like, he's got chains and, like, Lambos and shit, and, like, like, you know, the pit bulls and all that shit, but he gets mad numbers. So people are obviously fucking with him. That's crazy. But, but you never see his face. It's just like this gray face on like a, you know, like a big dude. Like, you know, it was, I don't know. That's dope. That's wild. That's That's so clearly got an ugly face under there. So they're like, mm. yo, throw the mask on. Let's Speaking go. of Germany and Europe, like how did, you, how did you start? Like you got a huge fan base over there. How did it start? Like someone like, do you remember when you were at like someone like my position, like in your career, like that stage? So how do you take that next step to like get over there? How did, how did that all come about? Well, I just... You know, like like uh, ten years ago, I went and did a tour for free in Spain. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then and then once you once you go over there and shit like that, and people see, oh, he's coming to Europe. Then they, I don't know, it's the internet. So too. just keep going, like I guess I don't know. I met Perry, the you know the guy that just called me, and he's got you know he's Onyx's booking agent, and Onyx has a huge European following, and they got all these connects there, right? So I kind of just 
piggybacked off Onyx's connections for okay. a little while. I was fortunate with those guys to that they brought me on tour with them and shit. So like Word. that helped me a lot. Like in the first few years that I, you know, that I was going to Europe and shit, I was like mainly opening for those guys and shit. But eventually, you know, I built my own fan base and plus the internet. You know what I mean? Like you, 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 the internet, YouTube, bro, you're going to, you got fans everywhere. Yeah, you might a, think all your blessing. fans are in Canada, but they're everywhere. So, and all you have to do is go. And like I said, go, go play a show. Don't do a shitty show. Fucking body it. it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And then fucking, you know, they're going to come back. Yeah. That's the one thing that I don't get about rappers that do half ass shows. Like, dude, you think people are coming back to your show if you're rapping over the MP3, if you're short of breath, if That's you're right. fucking, Auto if you're sloppy five. on stage and you think people are coming to your show next time, bro, your numbers are going to go down. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. for live shows, maybe not for any, anything else, but you know yeah it's one thing to work your magic in the studio be engineered as fuck and yeah. then you get on that stage and it's like you're exposed if you don't come with that same product or something close to exactly like Tory Lanez I don't know do you, do you follow Tory Lanez at all uh, kind of little yeah I just seen online I don't know if it was last night or the night before or whatever but uh he was uh, proving, trying to prove his fans right wrong that uh, he can sing live on stage because yeah. he's heavily auto tuned the Chicks on tracks. Record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was one off the Chicks Tape Five record, and he was he he did like a side by side clip when he's singing on stage, and you can slightly hear the auto tune, and then it clips right to him hitting the same note in his bathroom off his phone. And he's like the caption said like what my phone got auto tuned too, and he hits the note, and they're pretty close, but they're slightly different at the same time. But either way, you can tell he can sing a little. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's just like that goes to show that he's doing he's doing at least something close to his album quality, CD quality on stage. And like he does in the studio right? and that's so. important too is like trying to like when you're performing trying to make it sound like the recording you know what i mean like yeah. yeah practice hitting the same tone is that you recorded a lot of people in. yell way yeah. louder yeah like your, your hook is playing in the background but they're like mm. yelling it yeah yeah, yeah yeah yeah. You know i've like, seen that yeah you gotta blend bro that's yeah. right yeah. and like what you said about the fast rap don't fucking jam it all up because how you gonna do that on stage can't right? get like, drunk and rap fast yeah no <laughs> can't. Yeah. no you can't and you no. can't it's and hilarious to watch you ever see a fast rapper even, oh. <laughs> even last time i was here when, uh, when merc was there i know we had we had a buzz on right and he went on stage he's like how's he gonna do this how's he gonna do this it's a fast Fast rapping part is the panda part. He couldn't pull it off too well. You know what I mean? Because we had a buzz on. We had a buzz on. Yeah. You know what I mean? Shout uh, out Merck. And and he was still doing it, but it it, it, it wasn't no twister. You know what no. I mean? <laughs> I feel like people yeah. have the opposite issue too, though. Like Fab, I feel like it's so relaxed on a record. It's well, cool yeah. that when he's on stage, it's not the same cadence. He can't mimic that again. Man, I'm not. Because uh, it doesn't like come almost, off right on like a It's almost too smooth too and in chill. the pocket. Yeah. It's not like you're not hype. You're in the show like, all right, man. But that's what I like about Jay-Z. Because a lot of people say, Jay well, let's be real. Jay-Z's live performance is crazy. very, very Relax. Yeah. My man don't even do a fucking yeah. half a jump or a jog. On a stool. He just casually walks around delivering yeah. 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 <laughs> classic shit. Like Slippers. slow step, slow step, slow step yeah. for two hours straight. You know what I mean? Like it's fucking amazing. But it's though. fucking amazing because yeah. it sounds exactly like what you get off the fucking of the CD, right? Shows yeah. have to be beyond. I can't say have to be, but like it, I think it, it gotta be beyond like, hey, get your words right, get the tone right. It's like this is a show. This yeah. is a show. Yeah. So like thinking theatrically, like theatrics. And, you know what I mean? And like, yeah, what, you're a master at that yeah, shit. Man. Thank you, man. It's like, what different am I going to do to get this crowd so I have them in my fucking hand? Yeah. I yeah. can say my raps. I can, you know, but it's, it's got to be more than that. There has to be a way to captivate the crowd and more than just saying your, the, the same rhymes you have. No matter how close you get it to the record or how you thought it was going to be on stage is a certain... And one thing I find impressive is you seem like you have a good a good <clears throat> grasp on knowing what you need to give to your fans. Like, this, the, just from this conversation, let alone, like, in general. but Because you have a big following, in my opinion. I think it's a big following. So it's like, at any moment, you, you must have been, like, racking your brain. Like, how do I... How do I provide and put on for my career right now the right way, you know, without making any mistakes or, or, or setting yourself I guess, back. but we all make mistakes, right? Like with certain content and shit. Like mm. I make songs that don't, nobody gives a fuck about and I thought for sure they're going to be good. Oh but, my God. But, and then you make other songs. It's worst. Like, I hate that. Yeah. Or else you make songs <laughs> like, you make songs that, like, like for instance, bro, like I got a, a fucking song that I, was the quickest song I ever wrote, bro. And, and it's my most popular track. You know what I mean? And then there's, and then I'll sit there you know brainstorming trying to come write other joints to take forever like some some sometimes it take me a week to write a joint you know what i mean and, yeah cause and that shit doesn't hit like the one that took me an hour you know? i think that's everybody that's no yeah, it's, I, I have it's that a story too. of my life dude i i'll spend like and i don't really do music that much but you know i'll spend like so much time on one record money drop it eh, yeah i did that did that guilty by association recently on just a, a industry beat yeah. wrote it like that shot a little studio thing boom everyone's like oh this is crazy your best shit i'm like yeah. fuck you, even man. when you yeah. diss that kid on his own record you yeah. did that in like one night yeah. and yeah. And you're like, like fuck, I'm pissed at how comments. good this but is see, I mean, that's what I'm saying. That gets yeah. frustrating as an artist. Like, that's what I, was, what I was just saying. Like, I find it 
frustrating to not know which direction to go in because you get confused by reaction. Like, how do you know yeah. what your next play, the next best play is? At that I, point, you can't base it on other people's reaction because yeah. you can't please everyone. You, you know what I think? But you, you know, like sticking to yourself and being trying to do things the way you want to, being original, doing you. Yeah. And what if that starts not panning on you? Like, fuck. Am I, should I be more in tune with the listener or should I stick to perfecting my craft and doing what makes me happy with the music for, too, right? I don't think you can do that though. Like I, can, I don't think you can make a track for a week straight and sincerely say that you're having fun. And I think that that is the problem. Gets frustrating. Yeah, you're not too. having fun. Yo, that's, How can you come off sincere that's so true. genuine? That gets frustrating. You yeah. do something quick like that, it comes, yeah. it, like we know it and, and we're having right. fun. That's because true. You it's had natural. Fun. That's it's kind of like when you write I a course. That that, yeah. It's kind of like when you write a chorus. it's like, the first, just say, you know, a certain melody, the first couple things that you think of is likely going to be the best. You That's know? true. Yeah, because 100%. it's natural, you know what I mean? And when you start yeah. overthinking, and, and then it proves it's fun, and they, they yeah. can feel it, you know what I mean? That's probably why the shit rewrite, rewrite so quick is our best. It's probably why when I battle, like my opponent, I'm battling in like three weeks. My opponent has had six verses for me for three months, and and me, I don't have more than four lines, but that's just how it is with me. Like the shit that, that just comes quick when I actually, you know, start to focus seems to be my best. Somehow I'll write like two weeks before the battle, barely done my shit. Yeah. And people are like, that was your best performance ever. I'm and like, you were doubting it. Yeah. I didn't even, but it was just the shit that just like came like super on the right. fly and not yeah. overthought. Cause you know, when you do it like an album or something, you have a song, uh, you record it. It's the best. Three weeks later, you have two new songs and you're like, oh, fuck that song. You know what I mean? Yeah. So for me, I'm, I'm performing stuff that I have fresh in my head. You know what I mean? So it's, you're more excited about it in the moment. Yeah, because I'm not sick not of old I'm, to you. I'm not sick of the lyrics. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And you don't want to overthink. I feel like a lot of rappers too, they just overthink on a certain concept or like uh, just any lyrics in general and how they sound and going like, just do it and mm -hmm. have fun. It comes off natural and organic. It's going to be better music. But in that same sense, do you feel like would you trash a song if it doesn't meet your standard bar wise? Like, dude, I trash songs all the time. Yeah, you know, yeah. which is fucked up because, like, back in the day, I would put out anything. There yeah. was no like quality control. I just would make some shit, put it out. Make some shit, put it out. Make some shit, put it out. Now I'm like, I'll make some shit and I'll like send it to like five people that I trust. I'm like, what do you think? <laughs> yeah. man? Is this for that go-to opinion? With me, man, is it good? It's and it's all becoming. It's part of like getting older too, right? Like, yeah. I'm not as confident as I was in my 20s. You know what I mean? Like, I am still confident in yeah. shit, but at the same time, I'm like, is this good? Yeah. You start questioning yourself. You're like, That's right. am I good? <laughs> I don't think I'm very good. <laughs> I think I might suck. Yeah, <laughs> yeah bro. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. But I, but I feel like, you know, as long as you write shit that's like, that means something to you, or at least like, even if it's like, it has to come from the heart. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. even, if it's, even if it's about getting fucked up. You need to write it from the heart. You know yeah. what I, mean? I like getting fucked up. You know, like, yeah. really I think the it. listener's not stupid. They can tell when it's genuine. Yeah, when there's and, passion. And, and when, and when, when there's, there's passion yeah. and when you're just going through the motions. Like, yeah. they can tell. Yeah. For sure. So you ever do this when you're sending, you know, you said you send about five people songs. Yeah. Remember this back in the day? I, 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 I feel like everyone does it, but, but you send them the song. You're like, yeah, tell me when you press play. So you listen at the same time. You're <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. And then you, you try to ima you, you yeah. know, you imagine, imagine, try to imagine yeah. them yeah. listening oh, to yeah. it. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I see my homie going like this. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. that's the one. That is yeah. the one right there. Yeah. 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 Sometimes yeah. I'll see like a specific comment. Somebody be like, oh, this song's crazy. I'm like, I could go listen to it again to like picture well, how they thought of it. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I do that all the time. Do you? Yeah, yeah. That's funny. You got to be your number one fan first. Fuck, I used to love that, man. Recording a song and playing it back. Stay up all night listening to the same. Yeah. Thing. You just did the song an hour ago? Oh, oh yeah, I'm about yeah, to listen yeah. to this 68 times. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, you got to do that, too. That's part of the process of getting better at your craft, right? That's it's right. Like, it's like it's like a, if you're a painter, you would paint a picture and then you'd sit there, like, sit there. When I did graffiti, I would spend hours doing a piece or whatever, and then I would take the picture of it and then boogie. You know what I mean? And then yeah. I would sit there and look at my little digital cr camera for hours. Just critiquing like, the fuck out of it. I'm like, fuck, I missed a piece there. Oh, yeah. fuck, I did this wrong. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, same I feel like that's one of the craziest like lifestyles, like that nighttime, like you're in the darkness, spray painting, hot around, watching for old ladies, calling the cops and shit. Like, I feel like you have a crazy story you may or may not have been there for. You could tell us because I know there's, it's super. <laughs> like catchy. Hell yeah. No, I got all sorts of fucked up, crazy stories with that shit. Like. Graffiti is the, it was crazy, man. P graffiti writers are way more hard than rappers. 
Like, yeah. like in, in terms of in terms of beef and shit. Yeah. Beanie C. You, really? think, you think rap beef is not hard? Rap Why beef is not hard. There's no beef. All. Hey, oh my god! It's it, the whole thing is illegal. Painting you, you fucking spraying, spraying over. Dude, I, I know a couple I graffiti artists like that. Y'all steady running from the cops. Dude, <laughs> and most of the dudes who are graffiti writers are already like all seasoned criminals. They're 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 thieves. They're drug addicts. You know what I mean? They're, yeah. they're, they all have warrants already. That's right. So it's like, fuck. And step beat on the, the shit wrong. You too. That's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. I got bear maced by the same dude like five times. Just <laughs> over his head. This guy was crazy, man. Everywhere I was, they'd be like, yo, Snack's here. And then the guy would come out and I would just be like, step out of a house party, like have a smoke. He'd be like, yo, Snack. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then the next week, the same motherfucker hit me again in 7-Eleven, dude. I'm like, just buying a taquito. He's like, yo, Snack. <laughs> I'm like fucking guy, man. Fight me, man. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you ever paint sucks, over somebody's man. shit? Fuck. Hell yeah. Did you? Did your shit ever get painted over? Yep. It's, it's part, of part of the process. Of the game, eh? Yeah, man, for sure. There was this guy. There was this guy in Vancouver, and uh, and he was like pretty well known, like um, graffiti artist, and he had all the respect from like the OGs and shit. And uh, he was up everywhere, and his shit was nice. He was better than I was, hundred yeah, percent yeah. better quality and all that shit. I went and painted in a train yard, just minding my own business, just paint, painting my own thing. And I, and I left because my, the battery on my camera died. So then I came back that night to take a picture of the shit I painted and it was all squiggled out. And this guy, this, this, this guy who I kind of looked up to, I tagged all over it. Right? Oh fuck. So you knew it was And him. at this time there was like a thread. There was like a, a online, you know, a forum or mm, something yeah. like called yeah, Vancouver yeah, 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 yeah. Graffiti. And everybody in there like had like, they're all like every writer was there watching and some people would talk, but nobody used their real names, yeah, right? Like their real names. graffiti names. Like right. you wouldn't know that that was that writer. They all had fake names, Captain Spaulding and shit. They all hid behind <laughs> their fake names. You know what I mean? And, mm -hmm. and, uh, and I never did, right? My mind was just hate snack, right? And I just okay. talk mad shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, and, uh, anyway, these guys, and then, and I went on there and I seen they, they posted a picture of the fucking, you know, snack gets dissed. Like, shit happens so quickly. There's these guys called benchers. They take pictures of all the graffiti that happens and they post it on the shit. Anyway, so then these other guys who was fucking with, who was kind of like were mentoring me, right? They're like, yo, you got to, this is your time, bro. These guys, this guy just made you look like a bitch. So you got to make a move on him. You got to make a move now, bro. Yeah. So I went back there to the, to the, to the place and he had like his shit over top of mine. I just did the nasty, you know, like a throwy, right? Like something real quick over top. Took a picture of it, posted it back on the thread. Then that guy went back the same night and <laughs> tried to paint like some beautiful thing over it. It's a Van City. I went back and painted a big dick right over there. <laughs> right? Posted that like in the next hour, bro. I didn't sleep. I stayed up for days just like immediately just fucking this beat. guy. And then, and then, and then at all... All over the city, like my boy used to work for Mr. Rooter Plumbing. Yeah. So he did service calls, like driving around. He'd be like, yo, I just seen this guy's piece, like on top of the rooftop at blah, blah, blah. I'd be like, I'm on my way. And I would do it <laughs> daylight, whenever, bro. I, like, yeah, yeah. I knew people were watching, so I had to like prove myself. <laughs> this was like my first kind of like taste of like beef. You know what I mean? Like, and, and. Uh, so did that make like your shit East, bigger though? Like, hell yeah. On East Hastings and shit. Like I was fucking going over this guy's shit, like. I went over all of his shit, bro. <laughs> every single fucking piece he had under every bridge, under every alleyway. I did it all within a week. That's I didn't sleep. I just ran out and fucking crushed him, bro. To the point where he, and then check this out. And then like two months later, like he kind of stopped going over my shit because he realized I crushed him. Like, <laughs> he's he like, I don't want no more smoke. He didn't want to waste any more time. Like he's like, if I go out and paint, this guy's just going to go over my shit again. And I wasn't putting any effort in. He's like doing all this artistic shit. I was just doing big dick and cocking balls. Over <laughs> right, you know, That's amazing. Writing my name on it. Quick but, um, kills. Yeah. Anyway. And then, and then, and then eventually like we were in that same train yard, me and my boy. And like, we, we were just hanging out in there, like just drinking forties. And, uh, and we heard, and I look under the train and I see these little footsteps going and I'm like, I'm like <laughs> and so my boy goes this way and I go that way. <clears throat> and we, we climbed up the ladder reel, like on the train reel sneaky, like, and then, uh, and then we just, I just jumped down. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's, he just stops in his tracks and he's like, turns around and looks. And I, I had the bandana over my face <laughs> and then all of a sudden, and so now he's facing me and all of a sudden here's, <clears throat> and he turns around the other way and it's my boy. My boy is like pretty, like I, I wasn't very big. I was a little chubby, kind of shorter guy. But yeah. Anyway, we surrounded that guy, and it was the dude, right? And he's, he's like, he's like, who, he's like, who are you guys? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, snack, motherfucker. And he's like, oh shit. 
shit. <laughs> oh, fuck. He's like, man, man. And I'm like just walking towards him. My buddy's walking. Anyway, we didn't do anything like violent towards the guy. Like we basically, he, he bitched out right there. Yeah, you know he took I mean? his he's LA. Like, yeah, he's like, man, okay, you guys got me, man. Relax. You know, I'm like, you're a fucking clown, bro. Yeah, Spray painted yeah. dick on his shirt. Yeah. <laughs> but deep down, you must have like, whether you liked him or not, fu you fucking respect the shit that he's doing because you're doing the same shit. It's such an underground culture. I guess, yeah. I did, I did. Like, I liked I liked that he did it because yeah, it man. showed me that, that like, guys of his caliber were threatened by me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't very good, like, with, with my craft, but I was, but I had heart. My shit was everywhere. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? So yeah, that's kind of like when idols become rivals and shit. Yeah. Do you think that that kind of transitioned a little bit like in the industry now, like even in the West Coast, whether it's, you know, friendly competition, Mercules or uh, whoever else is out there? I mean, well, with me and Merc, it's different. But like with like, say, like with the butt child shit, like for sure. Right. It's like, um, <laughs> I don't want to say any names. I mean, I won't say his name. I'll, yeah. You know what I mean? But but it was the same shit. Like for me, when that shit happened, it was the same thing. It was a guy who was more established. You know what I mean? poking at me bro mm. you know what i mean you're poking at a bee's nest bro mm. don't do it because i'm a fucking animal bro how did you bring so many dishes so quick this you had like three videos of like 50 <laughs> bars each in three days like monster how, with the pen how are you how how was this so it's, it's quick? hunger bro yeah and, and and you know people i read the comments and shit people are like oh he must have had even mad child's like he had it for us and i said your fucking name clown anyway <laughs> um you know i uh People say that I had it prepared, but I didn't. The thing is, bro, is that I didn't like the guy already for a while because it started. He's just he's a fucking he's a he's a capitalist, bro. And and he's a you know, everybody knows who he is and how he is. I don't need to explain it, but <clears throat> your pen exactly. game. Strong, yeah. That's anyway, for sure. yeah. So so the thing is, is like all the stomp down on dudes, they, they're, they, I wanted to do this shit a long time ago. You know what I mean? Mm. I just wanted to say, yo, the dude's a clown. But they're like, no, don't do it. Just you know what I mean? Let's be. You know, just chill, bro. Just as chill. much as you didn't want to touch on that, you're competitive. And I didn't, and, but he was always throwing subliminals at me on Twitter. He's like, these local rappers, blah, blah, blah. And, mm. and I knew he was talking about me the whole time, but I didn't say shit. I didn't do nothing about it. I <laughs> bit my tongue. And then and then one day he just got too coked out and said, you know, Snack the Ripper should call himself the shit-talking bitch boy or whatever the fuck he wrote. And I just looked at my boys. I said, can I go now? And they're like, yup. And so I just fucking, dude, I, that shit, I got that tweet on a Sunday night. Or on a Saturday night, sorry. That's when I was showed in that tweet. Mm -hmm. He deleted it. All Sunday, I wrote the first one. Yeah. Sunday night, I went to my studio and recorded it. Uh, after that, I, right after the studio, in the middle of the night, I shot the video with Stewie. Yeah, but he yeah. didn't want any part of it because he was scared. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't, want, I don't want my name. He oh, gives me all the footage. Here, here, you go. I go home, <laughs> not even knowing how to edit a video. I'm just fucking, and, and, and none of the lyrics. Mode, hey. Dude, I just wrote the song that day. Like, you think my lyrics were all on point? No, I had to, like, find the little parts where the mouth actually lined up. Yeah. I stayed up till six in the morning that night doing that one. I'm going to fucking explain how I did all this shit right now. Then I released that one. Right? Yeah. I released that shit and, and fucking, you know, that was that. Then no response from Mad Child. No response. No response. Then somebody that I know, I can't say who, but that knows him was like, yo, just a heads up. He's going to hit you back this Friday. And this is on Wednesday. Right. He's going to respond to you on Friday. <laughs> I'm like, all right. So then I just started writing again. Yeah. I'm like, oh, no, Why no, would no, 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 no. I wrote like, I wrote like, I don't know, 32 bars, but I left like a big chunk at the end of the child abuse one. I left a chunk. So at the you end. could respond to what he said. Exactly. Right. Yeah, yeah. So then he, so on Friday and I booked the studio. So then on Friday he goes, you know, he responds and he didn't even do a video. You know what I mean? Yeah, he just yeah. did like a track. Yeah. Right. I remember. So, so then I, I fucking, I listened to the song. I'm like, all right, whatever. Then I rebuttaled a few. I finished up the thing. I recorded it that night. And and the funny thing is, I I had already recorded the video for the first chunk. Yeah. I went out, smashed some windows at a fucking place, did the whole thing. It was just disses. There's no rebuttals whatsoever, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. And then and then I pretty much had the video already edited and shit by Friday. That's you brilliant. Know what I mean? That's brilliant. So you just had so, to brilliant. The so then all part. I had to do was go to the studio, record the new version with the longer piece, Jeez. smack it in there, and then for eight bars of rebuttals, all I did was. Wild and swinging bats. There's no. That's there's crazy. No, that's there's brilliant. No, there's yeah, no mouth. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. brilliant. I took the parts of me rapping, but from far away, where I'm like, yes, that's, but you yeah. couldn't see that I was actually, yeah, not saying anything. 
You know so you saying? just clipped it in. So you just clipped it in there. Wow. Like you didn't even. It's all a play. So the video was done. The video was done like, oh, like, like on Thursday. Yeah, that's badass. It wasn't done. It was almost done, except for like the last thirty-five seconds. Okay, right? but it, I had all this footage of me smashing windows and fucking where any audio could go over that. Yeah, so I right. put the put audio in. on. I just dug through clips and that's, put the clips in there where it kind of made sense. And and then I had a homie, a homie who like was really good at like making memes. So I'm like, oh, you swimming in gas? I'm just the guy that lit it you know what i mean i'm like yo take a fucking video of a guy swimming in a, a pool and put his face on it you yeah, know what i mean yeah, and then yeah. we'll just superimpose some fire or some shit right yeah. so he was just kind of like sitting behind me on his computer like coming up making these little memes and shit right to throw in there right so it became like it <laughs> that's calculated badass, as yeah so do you think this yeah. came from the, the graffiti culture that like where it was like nature staying came up from, all night going to you know what i mean it came yeah, from that's what it's passion bro it's yeah. passion yeah. that's yeah. what it is if somebody puts you you know what i'm talking about if somebody if you have pressure and everybody's what like that's a thing like when he said that twitter shit it was floating around all over. Everybody's like, all these people are talking about it online and on Facebook. It's trending and shit. I'm like, bro, yo, everyone everyone's was watching. Everyone's, yeah. everyone's like, what? Where's Snack? Where, where is he? I didn't say anything for fucking 24 hours. And everybody's commenting, oh, fuck, Snack's done. You know, man, and you're and ready. Blah. And I'm, oh, little do amazing. they know I'm in my room just fucking writing like a madman. You yeah. know what I mean? And editing the video. And then you did a third one, didn't you? Yeah, I did a third one too. So <laughs> check it out. So, then, so, so, so check it out. So he, Asshole, releases, man. he releases the audio. He releases is the audio on that Friday, okay? That Friday, like maybe that night, I think, I released Child Abuse, which is my rebuttal with a video and a whole new song to just his audio, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then everyone's saying, oh, you didn't even do a video. So the dummy goes and spends all his time shooting a video for the same audio he did. Uh, and meanwhile, I've already written my third one, already made a third video yeah. where I got a fucking guy that looks like him. We drew, instead yeah. of the, the, the battle axe thing, we put a cock and balls <laughs> on his cheek oh, and shit. And like Jeez. put flour all over his nose, made him look all coked out. Anyway, that shit. And, and so then by the time he released, when he, and then I knew he was going to release the video, bro. He's like, I'm just waiting. I, I have my, my third one sitting on YouTube, just waiting. And then it's like, boom. Somebody's like, yo, he dropped it. And I was like, boom, Click. live yeah. right away. Amazing. And then two, and then like That's an hour dirty. later, I yo. see him go on a tweet. He's like, this guy's just in it for the publicity. I'm fucking done. Wow. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. He didn't like yeah. how you made calculated moves. Came and got ahead of the game. No, Man. you can't be calculated when you're a fucking drug addict. Weasel. Mm. Anyway. <laughs> Change the subject. <laughs> yo, that's amazing. But yo, yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying is like mm. a lot of the one thing that pissed me off is people are like re writing in the comments like oh he'd been planning this he did it for publicity blah 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 i didn't do it for that man i did it to stand up for myself if you're gonna be a fucking bully and you're gonna talk shit you know what i mean be prepared if you're gonna talk shit That's be true. prepared That's or facts, don't talk though. shit you know what i mean i'm prepared so i can talk shit That's i don't facts. think you could have did that any more fucking calculated though like That's i'm fucking, calculated as yeah, a yeah, motherfucker bro yeah, yeah, that's what i'm saying though that's, but that's how all of this shit is it's the same yeah, with you you are too you yeah. know what i mean like this guy you have to be this guy will this guy in his battles he's the exact same way he's so calculated man you yeah. know what i mean everything that's is chess bro in 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 the whole even in business that's right you know what i mean even with like the releases of singles and fucking videos and all and that timing shit. and everything yeah yeah. Man. yeah everything is is chess three yeah. moves you know? ahead three yo i fucking um speaking of diss tracks and whatever i didn't even wasn't even didn't, didn't have to go in that at all but um what is your what is your guys's in general favorite diss tracks i was listening to was this isn't my favorite what is too. it I was just yours? thinking that too. No, I got a couple. I got a can, can we uh, stop? Can we stop just putting Jada Kiss uh, uh, checkmate versus check. fifty? Stop wiping it under the rug because that's a fire diss. Amazing. No, that's bro. an amazing bro, diss. Jada Sorry, Miss Jackson. Sorry, Miss Jackson. Oh my god, oh, he's right. That checkmate. Uh, I think we were. I think we had. Remember, like a post. we went through all of them. Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah. All yeah. them child. Yeah, man, bro. It's, it's still not top five, five, but it's amazing, bro. All those Jada styles, man, against fifty was crazy. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the stand again as of reset. Kel shot was a very, very come very on. Different. It's amazing, Bro, but it's not like it's not. It's not MGK like MGK won. He had a better fucking Kel record. shot was a. If you go bar for bar, every fucking line of bottles. It was really good, like technically do you, amazing. Do you, do you guys think Rap Devil was better than Kel shot? Yes, I don't, I don't think it was no. better, but I don't think it was that. It was a better song. 
song. There, yeah. It's a diss track, though. Yeah, it's a diss, man. We're not, it, we're not, not trying to a, dance to it. We ain't trying to be like, <laughs> yeah, yo, yeah, it's a, you're MGK a for life. So right. Back to Back wasn't a good diss record? Uh, back yeah. to Back was, yeah, amazing. it was. And it was an amazing song. That's what made it a good diss record. That was impressive how Drake did that. Didn't this shit get nominated for like a Grammy? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dude, <laughs> nominated for a Grammy. How she was she playing like, at the strip club? Which is like insult to injury Play at the strip club, NBA games. Like, you can't get away from this song. bad because, yeah, everywhere you go, you got to hear that record. That's what was impressive about that, though. The genius of that shit was the invoice. Yeah. Was that, was that, oh, yeah. The invoice, yeah. bro. Like, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Like, like that was the same shit with our shit. Is, is yo, check this out. The best thing is the first diss I did to that guy. Mm. He called, he deleted the fucking, he deleted the fucking, uh, yeah, uh, really. uh <laughs> tweet or whatever, but, but fucking, he called Merck and left a message and was like, yo, fucking, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Tell Snack, like, you know, I'm sorry. And I just, I said, like, yo, let me record that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I, I put it on the end. It was like it was like the invoice. You know, oh, it's yeah. like the same shit. If you any any sort of shit like that, it's, yeah, it works man. great. Yeah, man. man. Insult to injury, bro. Best dick record. Uh, well, <laughs> this record. <clears throat> I say your, no Vaseline up there. Dick record. Dick, and, dick then he, record. and then he quotes no Vaseline. The, the best dick record is no Wasn't Vaseline. Yo, yeah. what is your favorite Sponsored disc record? We'll go Man. around. Favorite disc record. Of all time? All time. Oh. I can't say one. We got a racket going oh, it's on. Gotta yeah. Yeah. It's, it's got to be Ether. It's got the most replay Ether. value. Yeah, it doesn't? Ether's what? incredible. Ether's my f yeah, probably. But my then favorite. again, I like what's on Jay Z's album. What's his response to it? The Ether's uh, better than hit him up off the blueprint, blueprint too. It's called blueprint too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And your little boy God is a is a jungle. <clears throat> All right, sorry. <laughs> you tell me Ether. You tell me Ether's better. Oh yeah, he's a Nas fan. You tell me Ether's better. better than hit him up. Yeah, hit, uh, hit him up is amazing. I, but I, I can't think say that it's better. <laughs> I don't know. It's man. all different timing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. different coasts at, too. At, at the time, hit him up. Man, was... what he said versus what Pac meant, and what like the feeling you got when you heard it. I guess it's very two different things. Yeah, hit him up is I guess will be more like a back to back because that shit's gonna just play all over the fucking world. It's a, it's something that you can to jam to. Say that you've been ethered was like a hip hop thing. Yeah, it became of, like, like a term. Like, like, that was like, a, yeah, a, it like became a, a term. It became a term. It had a... I didn't like. I didn't like the beat. It was like it was sloppy kind of. Oh. It, it was obviously really good. But I was gonna say, and he not... was the first to call someone a stand. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, I think you discussed yeah. that. Remember, like he took the Eminem song and it, uh, he goes, "You're a stand." That became a thing after Ether too, because he referred to you as a stand. But didn't Eminem? Make yeah, that he has up? the song "Stand." But was anyone referred to like? Yeah, I think he definitely created that. I think he definitely created stand. Did, was anyone yeah. referred to though? Like, I'm sure. Yeah. Afterwards, like, oh, you're a stand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Might yeah. Be right. I've never heard it. Yeah. Give Nas the credit. I yeah, guess. I think. Uh, I don't know. There's a few like no Vaseline. There's fucking uh, hit him up. I was going to say too. Ice Cube or Corrupts one. Oh, Ice Cube's. Cool. What about you, Quake? Ether? I like Ether. Yeah. Snack? Oof, I don't know. I like, I mean, I didn't really listen to diss tracks, to be honest, but hit him up was dope. Yeah. When it came out, I was so young. I didn't even know what the fuck was going on. I like Drake's diss on Pusha. I like Pusha's diss on Exodus uh, is my Exodus favorite. On, uh, I think it's like yeah, no names. Yeah, that He's that just riding crazy. around on the fucking bicycle through yeah, like that Virginia somewhere. That was crazy. Yeah. But back to that Eminem and, and and MGK thing. Like, here's what I'll say, bro. Lyrically, like, okay, it's a battle, right? Yeah. Right. You have to you have to be fucking. You're you're dissing the other person yeah. with music. With music, mm. but. It's not about what song is <laughs> yeah. catchier, it's which both. one makes you want to no, like, turn up not. in the club, right? It's both. A diss tracker nah. is not a about the disses. rhythm. It's like Pat. It's like Pat stay. It's like Pat stay with a beat. You it's know a what display I mean? You're trying to. You're. It's. It's. It's fucking. It's. It's. Uh. It's. You're. You're. Person. What was the word? Fucking like person. Per, yeah. Personality assassination. Whatever. Yeah. Character assassination. Character assassination. That's what you're trying to do to the motherfucker. Yeah. And like, bro. To me. MGK. Come on, man. That guy wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for Eminem. Facts. He wouldn't exist. Big so, facts. So for, for me, looking at it, looking at it, come on, man. Come no, he wouldn't. Nobody, he wouldn't. Big I'm sorry. Facts. I'm sorry, right but I'm sorry. Right bleaching now. his hair, Yo. being that white rapper. Come on. <laughs> nobody, nobody. I'm not even, a, I'm not going to fucking and jump on that because I like Eminem better and than MGK. MGK is, I think MGK is pretty dope. He's dope. Brown yeah. for Brown, but he's, he's not bad. different. He's not bad, but. He I would is. say if it wasn't he for like a Tech Nine, there behind. wouldn't be an MGK or something like. Because I don't even think that they're that similar. I know, but you got to you got to admit that that without without uh, uh, Eminem being like the first successful white rapper to kick in the door for the Absolutely, swarm of yeah. other white rappers, but you can say in. that with anybody. That, that, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like like th there would be no MGK without, that's right. without Eminem. But, that's right. but 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 lyrically too, 
You know what I Someone mean? Someone else like, would have come came. on. Listen to it. <laughs> like, like there's a lot more filler on, on MGK's diss than there is on on Eminem. There's on, nine on Kel Eminem is like every fucking bar he's saying something crazy about the guy. And sure, his flow is a little bit weird, and his voice is kind of washed up, and he's kind of you know getting older and like yeah. whatever. But but at the same time. He's fucking every bar was was way crazy. The, the other guys eating a bowl of cereal like by his tour bus. Like it didn't seem like. I mean, Eminem didn't even it do was a video. Better written. Yeah. Mm. It was better. The but that was a better song. But that's what you know a diss I mean? track is. Yeah. No, not it's not everything. Yes, it always. It's has a better been. song. What is gonna have better? But, it, but, but it is everything because in a, a song is. It is. In a diss. It's everything yeah, in a battle. No, it's not. Back to back doesn't what have. Isn't fuck? that? Isn't that good lyrically? Neither is hit him up. That's what I'm saying. Thank like you. The Drake back and Pusha one has replay value. The Drake and Pusha one. Back to back is good lyrically. It's good. You take one of those lines though, and it just. Every line is calculated. Every line directly hits Meek Mill. It was, but it's a good song. It, it says like a lot the, with saying which, very little. That's what I'm yes. saying. Little words. Yeah. It says a lot with saying gift, very little really. words. Which yeah. is a great gift. It's kind of what Seinfeld does. But that, anyway. You're a stan. I really like uh, Nail in the Coffin. That was that's, a crazy That's record. an amazing diss record. Very, Yo, let's, 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 stay on, let's stay on that the topic sauce. we just talked about because I actually <laughs> want to discuss that. Ben Cito did the sauce. is nasty. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy, yeah. That's a topic. Don't worry, me. Oh. The Obi Trice's verse, bro. That's something. Eminem is a fucking sorry, man. I'm cutting you off. No, it's all right. Man. I'm a no fucking. Worry, but like, I, I got my like Eminem it. pajamas on right now. Like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, he's like, he's fired. the fucking man, bro. Every diss record by him is fucking treacherous. Like even if you go back, remember on the D12 album, if you let the very if you let the very last song on D12's album play, it'll play right into the bonus track. Yeah, and it was girls, and I think yeah, he was yeah. dissing Limp uh, Biscuit. Limp Biscuit and yeah. them on it. I used to fucking love that. It wasn't mastered. Like it, I always noticed the volume j dropped a bit. Like when you yeah. played it in the car, or anything with dope quality speakers. And I used to love. Is it. your uh, is my your crotch crotch swollen right now? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. Sorry yeah. Yeah. But I mean seriously bro And even that Back then Like fuck man It was an amazing song? Dis Amazing <laughs> diss record Yeah Yo, this guy um, doesn't got one bar written ever. Yo, just yo, um, bro, body. Speaking of lyrics And you had a little uh, A point there too um, Because we're saying What's super important Whether it's you know bar, you know Bars and, and what is bar Bars Right Where they make bars, 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 bars. 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 <laughs> Lyricism We were just speaking about that Lyricism like 15-20 years ago And we can all laugh at this Was just using big words So like a cannabis Or even like one of my favorite rappers Corrupt It'd be like uh, precipitation in the butt, the relation of Mac, the relation astronomical. Yeah, and if you that. used big words back then, mm. you were considered smart, which made you lyrical. Correct? Yeah, yeah. I, I, right. It's I, hilarious to I think. I fucking <laughs> hate that when you just end every word with T I O N and oh. the first part of the T I O N doesn't fucking rhyme. Yeah, yeah. But it's like shun at the end every time. Same yeah. with shun, shun. It was just like black guys using the fucking just rhyming with the N word. If you ain't rhyming, if you ain't rhyming before you say nigga, like, oh. Yeah, there's no color in here. <laughs> I'm still the only black person here. But yo, but it's it, it's true. Like it's like, and that's and it wasn't. We weren't making fun of, fun of it back then. It was a real thing. If you used a lot of big words, you were yeah. considered ly uh, lyrical. And then it became, and then it was multisyllabic. So patch day back way halfway in the patch day back day, right. or, or long strings, right? Daddy Kane, and, and big then L, it was kind of like or like punch a or something, and then yeah, it, yeah, and then it became some like punchlines, and now. Little Wayne, like the punchline, the metaphor, right. like this that, is you know, Maltese yeah. and, and syllables, Maltese, and, like, and, and and that I, was that that's was what impresses me. I mean, that impresses me like ten years ago. Now I'm just like whatever, cool. But now to me, my this is what I think lyricism is now, and you guys can what your opinion is. I think like to be a lyricist now. It's like like what you just said about Drake saying so much with one fucking sentence. You know what I mean? You don't. Ha it doesn't have to be like a huge string of multis, but just actually saying something, yeah. some thought provoking shit. Give yeah. those examples you gave Layered me earlier. Meetings. What he said on that record, like Drake and uh, all his shit says something. He's just like, I know a girl. Uh, something. Uh, I know a girl. What, what is it? One of the one of those lines. I forget the whole thing. But it's like, I know a girl happily married till she puts down her phone. I know a girl. Something. Uh, uh, something. Like, uh, screaming out for help, but her latest caption is "Leave me alone." I know it, it, just yeah, all, all this type yeah, of shit. That's like okay, right. that's so dope. I know a girl happily married till she puts down her phone. That's it. He only had a one syllable rhyme there, but that means so much. It's yeah. so thought provoking. Well, and it's also the way that he 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 set up that line and led it into another line, and it makes sense. It's not like, they like tie that's together. what I'm saying. You could you could do like like in a four bar increment or whatever. There's you know what I mean. You got all these. There's four lines. Yeah. Right. 
but when you make all of them make sense together, it's insane. Like, it's like you're writing the like you're telling somebody. Some that's, shit. A that's, right. that's, that's a huge thing. I find there's a lot of people with rhymes. There's a lot of people with punchlines and syllables and rhymes, yeah. but they the don't bars connect. don't connect yeah. with each other. Yeah. The yeah. first setup does has nothing to do with the second one. Yeah. Yeah. That drives does, me nuts. Yeah, I hate yeah. It. it got lost with the obsession of syllables. I think because Big trying time. to force those syllables. Yeah, because yeah. you're not you getting your stop. actual point across. You would get off the top. Trying to force syllables makes you say. It doesn't make you say what you're trying to say. It doesn't help you no. say what you're trying to say. It takes Sounds away cool. from that. That's right. It sounds cooler, but it yeah. takes away and from And those are usually the verses and or tracks that I, th I think a good artist may, may throw away. May throw away. Might have all the multis in the world rhyme perfect and immaculately, immaculately, but like not connect well. You know what I mean? I like when I write a verse and all the multis just fall right in place. Boom. And they all connect. Well, all with layered meaning. And it's just like, that doesn't happen all the time. So yeah. you might have the wicked, like the dopest rhymes whatsoever. Like, fuck, I've never even used this set of words before. And you blend them all together, but it's like, but re really, what am I saying with this fucking verse? Yeah. Like, that entire it? Drake verse, like back to every single line, is like, uh, what, like the, the fans ask, why would you let why would you let a rumor run if it's false? Uh, you know, a wise man once said nothing at all. Like it's, he always has wicked, wicked fucking thought out rhymes. In my opinion, that's what's lyrical now today. Would you? What What do you guys think? Like, I agree with you. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, it's not about like all the technical shit anymore. No, right? it yeah. is. It is, but like, there's a balance. Yeah, you have to you have to have a balance between like being technical and but also minimal. That's right. true. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. that's where I think new Eminem is failing. That's I agree. Right. He's over technical. He's overthinking shit, and shit is just too fucking brain melting. Bro. I agree. I'm like, Yo, this shit is dope, but I'm like, damn, dude, dumb it down just a little, tiny bit. Yeah, just a tiny bit. I agree. You know I agree. I, mean? I think that that would make a world of difference. But like during... like the first Slim Shady album Woo. was 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 classic because. It was, it was what he's doing now, but dumbed down. In yeah. a sense, he's not going on that yeah. album at all. It's yeah. all uh, jokes. Boom he's having fun, tempo, but but did, like did, saying shit. You did know? you guys see the interview with Crooked Eye and what he actually said he looks for in a rapper is like the technical aspect. Like that's what he looks for. Yeah. So I think it was said on the Joe Budden podcast, but I think like he's really just trying to like out rap himself and push that's his what it is. How syllables. He said his own like, That's so how high. he sees hip hop. Yeah. Like yeah. to me, I'd rather see like, I don't know, whatever. And yeah. imagery, everyone sees it different. Like, I agree. I think there's different our... spectrums of, of lyricism. Like it's like, there's two, there's two sides to the coin. You can have lyrics, like very, very technical, intricate lyrics. And that be the impressive part, or you can, like you said, with the Drake, say very little, but still have so much meaning to the preference. Lyrics. I think is the end of the day. That's yeah, hundred percent. Because you have you have all these kids. I, I was talking on Twitter with one. He's like posting all these like underground rappers and stuff like that. He's like, because well, I said something about Drake. He goes, Drake. He's he's not lyrical. It's not real hip hop. I'm like, oh, here we go. And then he goes, um, <laughs> he goes. Uh, he doesn't even have a big vocabulary. I'm like, it, it, I said, is that what makes a lyricist a big vocabulary to do? He's like, well, I'd appreciate it if he used a little more than 10 words. I'm like, how can you say that's real hip hop? By the way, that's the most annoying concept topic that people talk I about. I fucking hate that oh, shit. That's as, the as a guy who, who people people always throw me in the in the underground rapper <laughs> shit. Yeah, They're like, oh man, that fucking Drake shit is fucking gay, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, thank you, Snack, for never using autotune. I agree. Autotune is fucking, I don't fuck with it. I don't Me use personally, it like, if you can't sing, why are you trying to sing? But I get it. It's a trend. You know what I mean? That's a cool thing to do. But at the same time, like, yo, I'm going to rap on fucking uh, some 90s boom bap shit. I'm going to rap on some trap shit. I'm going to rap on any beat. That's right. If you're if you're a, if you're a fucking uh, if you're anything, uh, uh, you know, like whatever, if you're uh, trying to be master at anything, you have to be able to do every fucking angle of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're just rapping one tempo all the time, you're not fucking very dope. You, no. you need to be able, like, I know rappers who just do the same shit over and over. I've never, I never, these guys are like people who, who people, to, you know, try to, you know, some to high, people high can get away with it though. Very rare, but like a Jada kiss. Same for sure, same but imagine Jadakiss fucking rapping some double time shit. <laughs> <Can't bitch laughs> yeah. They uncomfortable as fuck. Yeah, yeah. I, I wonder know. if I, he's I ever bet, tried. I bet that. you he could do it, bro. I bet you he could. You know what I mean? Uh, but he's just. <laughs> nah. But I'm saying is like those '90s guys and shit yeah. like that. They got their own thing. They made their own legacies and shit like that. That's but, right. But us, 
as a newer generation, yeah, you know, or anybody really at this point starting in in a in a in a Somebody time starting between fresh. then and now, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. You Shouldn't. have to be able to do everything, bro. Yeah, you have to facts. be able to sing on a hook. That's yeah. right, and not sound whack. That's yeah. right. You know what I mean? You need to be able to rap ninety three BPM. You need to be able to rap one hundred and forty BPM. So when you say not using auto tune, like you sing some hooks, like I'm sure the the mix engineer, I use auto tune. Yeah, I'm sure the mix engineer has. You know how when you can turn it down, Dude, where it is, helps a little, but you can't say, hear the T pain. I say if you can hear the auto tune, you're using too much. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, like yeah. for the most part, I don't use it all the time. Like it's, the plugin is used. I use the plugin, but you can't my hear boy, it. Yeah, my yeah. boy doesn't use a plugin. Like like the plugins are the ones that are like, <laughs> you know what I mean. But my homie does like uh, auto, like 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 tune correction. So like if I'm if he I'm moves the if I'm doing like a singing mean. hook and I do like fucking five layers, like if you're singing, you're never gonna do one layer. You gotta yeah. do like octaves and shit you do like the the low the fucking mid the high all that shit and just to smooth it out just in case like one note is a little bit flat or whatever you just correct it just up a little bit i know but never it's never t-pain yeah yeah yeah, i've never done that i never do that yo snack thanks for staying up for real hip-hop thanks thanks for keeping it real just fucking mumble rappers you're fucking mumble rappers (laughs) (laughs) you know i mean no listen they put you in this weird little almost like racist white box they're like whoa chill man i love the culture (laughs) man like i love you know yeah well i mean i hear like like i don't I don't necessarily listen to any of that sort of shit, really. You know what I mean? But I don't even really listen to rap, to be honest with you guys. Like, I do, but I listen to all the same shit that I was listening to in the 90s. What do you listen to, bro? Yeah. That's not rap? Yeah. Yeah. (sighs) You guys don't want to know, man. No, I do want to know. I I listen to the craziest shit, too, man. I listen to, like... like, Who? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Blippi. Yeah, my... Blippi. yeah, you know Blippi. Yeah. Yeah. yeah B-L-I-P-P-I, um, like, yeah, no, man. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Motherfucker. No, no, I listen to like a lot of like classic rock and shit. And like, I listen to like, I, li- I listen to like a lot of like soul and fucking. That's what's up. I was going to say yeah. on the tour, you I had like that. Otis Redding. You yeah, had like a couple, to, couple soul I record. think like if you're going to be good at any any sort of music, like even if you're a fucking heavy metal dude, you yeah. need to listen to like all genres. Yeah. If you just listen to fucking like mad ignorant trap, yeah. yeah, you're not gonna be a good no, artist in you, any. You way. gotta expose yeah. your eardrums to yeah, different levels to of greatness. Yeah, listen to some other shit, dude. I listen to like grunge. You know what I mean? I listen to like I'll listen to like Pearl Jam, and then I'll listen to like fucking, you know, Otis Redding. Yeah, you know what yeah I mean, yeah, or, yeah. or yeah. Tina Turner or some shit. I just listen to music that makes me feel good. Yeah, you know if, I mean? it, like, if it tickles the eardrum, it tickles the eardrum. Yeah, you know? exactly. What rap song is better than "Kiss by a Rose"? <laughs> by Seal. Holy fuck. What rap song is better? None. Yeah, it's true. Do you like Kiss by Rose? Why not? It's a fire song. It's man. a yeah. Yo, it's I, I'm a, one of those guys. We kind of talked about it one, uh, briefly, and I and I know I <laughs> I, offend, I, offend I, I offend people when you I know say this. Hold on, let me just say yeah, something real quick. It, I thought for sure I wasn't going to relate to you guys uh, on the musical shit after that Backstreet Boys and NSYNC shit because in my <laughs> mind. That shit is all gay. You know what I mean? What? <laughs> what? Yeah. Did you? Were you hey, never a teenager? The only time I liked any of it was like Justin Timberlake when he's being produced by like Timberland. You know yeah, what I mean? Like, fire. like you know, so like, he goes that with shit JT was, That then. shit was okay. That shit was all right. But like, yeah, but Backstreet Boys. You I can't only liked it right. later in life. I only learned to like it later in life. I went, when I was when I was young, but I, I heard like I was like, it man, at this the time. is. All- I was too cool at the time. Yeah, man. but yeah, I'm from a small town called Digby. I listen to the Spice Girls and everything. I mean, that was a classic track. But that guy's a one hit wonder too That's when did he ever had any other songs he don't you know? have to he's just that cool yeah <laughs> no real talk i had i said this briefly i said okay i don't know how you feel about this because you're you're more of a well-rounded rapper than a lot of people but um i say that these people like in bands that like play like six instruments and fucking ha- like do this shit real live write it all like have a, like you know mm. are kind of like more talented than rappers default. i really feel that i'm like you listen to that fucking song that band sat there created every little bit yeah. their fucking selves wrote everything like all together like i, I just feel like that would be such a great but like feeling a, a j just, cole or a kanye like some people do do it yeah, yeah but they steal right. the beat they're like oh i'll steal this sample from this uh, i'll steal this drum from this i'll steal not this always this. Though, not, not always though. Though. Yeah, you not know, always like, not definitely not always but a lot of the times they're like oh think of your, what's your favorite rap song 50 percent of the time it's completely stolen from a fucking rock song or old soul or classical not completely not no. completely but <laughs> a lot, of, a lot opinion, of singer a lot of singers don't don't even write their own lyrics they get fucking dream right. writes it uh, well, or something I'm or about, like, Carrie Hilson like, writes it or something yeah, they yeah. literally just step in there and they spend two hours getting their hair done and they're fucking yeah. 
fucking makeup done and then they step out and deliver this amazing vocally performed song and then they go I back. know what you mean. I'm talking about these old rock bands and yeah, shit that yeah, I listen yeah, to. Yeah. I'm like, man, that would be such a satisfying feeling. Like, you just imagine, wrote that and performed that and you're like, man, we did that. Yeah. We did that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. just go in the studio and be like, rap, 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 rap. It's like, it, I know it's 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 not easy to do, but it's probably a lot harder to do than orchestrating the entire fucking thing as a group. But if you yeah. have a producer and you have a sound en engineer, you have a clique of people that, you, you know, you're writing in and stuff like that. Like, I think that it, you're going to get a better song. Yeah. I don't know. I had a sure. conversation with a girl. I said, uh, I said, what's your favorite song? She goes, uh, it was all the dream or, or I, f I forget what, what, what she named off. But she named off three in a row. And it's like, that's just an 80s song, completely stoned. They put a hard drums mm. over it and then rap yeah, it. It's true. still a classic song, but it's like, I, who do you respect more? The, I don't know. I don't want to go there because I don't no, want to. No, no, but yeah. you get a better feeling, I think. Like, you know how many bigger, songs, you know that, that song, uh, Tainted Love. Yes. Yeah. You know how many songs that, bam, bam, has yeah, been yeah. used in pop songs yeah. for the yeah. last 20 years? Rihanna, fucking everybody. It's like every three years that yeah. shit gets recycled. Yeah. But, but on the topic of what you're saying is like, for me, like not listening to rappers and listening to other shit is because that's what I strive to be as artists. I don't want people when I'm all, when I'm dead to be like, oh, that guy was a dope underground white rapper. Right. Mm. I don't want to be remembered as that. I want to mm. be remembered as a dude who was musical. I was a musician. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I I do like yo. If if homie sends me a beat, most of the time I don't like any beats. I'll, I'll hear something in it that I like, like the sample or the drums or whatever. But I'll be like, send me the stems before mm -hmm. I even go to the studio. I take homie's beat. And I completely rearrange it. I make an intro. I make an outro. I sometimes will even like pull, plug in the MIDI and add a little synth or, you know what I mean? Whatever. That's just, dope. That's just crazy. soup it up slightly so that it's not mm -hmm. the exact same. Like, so you a, are a musician. Just a musician. loop. You know what I mean? Yeah. I try to be. Yeah, you are. I try to be. Yeah. I can play guitar. It's not the that's greatest, dope. but fucking. No, that's know? dope though. I, I produce a lot of shit before and, and it's way more fulfilling to me. People don't care. Nobody gives a fuck. I posted, I, like last year, I, I released a gang of songs that I produced myself and, and nobody cared. Nobody was like, oh, great beats. Snack. See, or, that, wow, you're talented. Nobody gives a fuck. They just want to hear the songs and that's it. Right. But it's more for me. You know you what know I mean? I felt more. Like, yeah. That's, I because just rapping and shit it was kind of getting boring, bro. I was like, yeah. I want to learn how to make beats, man. I want to like get a little bit better at this shit, you know? So DJ Quick is my favorite artist of all time. I know that might be fucking weird, but this guy like, He's of all time. Yeah, he's 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 a good rapper, him. amazing producer. But when he goes up on his show, he'll bring out everything to keyboard. He plays everything like he's he's just a fucking like a it, it, it's amazing. And that's really impressive to me to be like a like a, a you know, a like full. a Ryan Leslie that makes the beats can sing. That's can so cool rap, to me, man. That's so yeah, talented. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's super a, crazy. That's impressive to me. That's actually one of my biggest things. It's even a rapper. To, for me to be like a huge fan, it's like doing things that I don't think I could do or that the average person couldn't do. You know what I mean? Like yeah. when Eminem, people are like, who's better, Eminem or Pac? I always say Pac because I'm thinking for so many different reasons. Like I love Eminem and, and he's amazing, but like Pac possesses something that can't be taught. If, if Pac, okay, just say Eminem <laughs> wrote a verse for Pac and Pac rapped that shit, it would be unfucking real because he has the craziest presence and yeah. voice ever. I but if Pac wrote a verse for Eminem, Eminem, it would sound so bad because he'd be like, Hennessy enemies with this yeah. with this little yeah. voice that's not as powerful. Can, Eminem's still fucking legendary, can, amazing, but Pac just had this like... I don't know if Pac would be able to have the that presence with an Eminem verse. I, not, don't, I don't know if it would work. It wouldn't, be the, same that, yeah. it wouldn't be the same presence. I've, it wouldn't be the same presence because it's it's just not as yeah, space toad as much. But I, it would sound amazing. That's why, that's why I always hate when people compare Biggie and Pac. Who's your favorite, Biggie or Pac? Yeah. They're Pac, fucking Pac. completely different rappers. That's what yeah. I was saying. Gonna, gonna They're say. complete, just because it came out at the same time and they beefed with each other, people Died throw them the in this time. category. Yeah. I loved Pac when at that time, right? Because I felt the passion. That's yeah. right. I mean, right. He was That's a right. real motherfucker, and yeah. I knew it. I could see it. I mm -hmm. didn't have to like he didn't he didn't have to trick me. Yeah, yeah, thinking yeah, 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 yeah. It. He wasn't it wasn't like a facade or whatever. I felt the shit. Dear mama, I got goosebumps. Oh, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah. Songs give me goosebumps. I never got goosebumps from one biggie song. <laughs> right. But, but it's not the same, but it's not the same effect. Biggie would body Tupac lyrically. Lyrically, like bro, a, bars, like, bars, like bars, battle wise, dude. He bars, bodied, he, he bodied <laughs> him, he bodied him, but but passion wise, Tupac. So that, that's a, you're comparing yeah. fucking uh, mm. two different flavors. You know what I mean? I agree. Now the real question is storytelling. Biggie, I think who's a better who's a better know. lyricist, Biggie or Big Hell? Big that's L. the question you need to ask yourself. Big L. You know what for I mean? Me. Yeah. For, uh, for I what think, I look for, I, I think Biggie's flow is more advanced than Big L. 
Who? I think Biggie's flow is more advanced. Biggie is than a Big better L. rapper. Big L is a better. So Big lyricist. L was wicked for Agreed. the and for I the, never for the that. Yeah, yeah. 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 fact. But it's like I think Big Big Biggie said more. For sure. And I think his flow patterns landed in such different places. It was so unpredictable. No one has done Dear Mama for 20 plus years. Who has done anything like that since? There hasn't even been a second Dear Mama. Nas did one. Haven't heard it. What about Boys to Men song, Dance with me. Is that what's called? Dance. Dance. Yeah, yeah. That one was dope. That was incredible. Yeah, it was. Boys to Men did Boys to Men did mine. You didn't say. Who did you like? Big Al or Biggie? Comparable. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't ever compare people because everybody's a fucking their own entity, man. That's yeah. right. I like Biggie for who Biggie is. I like Big L for that. You know what I mean? I don't. Yeah. Comparing shit is stupid. I think Big but L is like a new era. It's, it's competitive Big nature. It's just like, I guess. Yeah. I guess so. I guess. Who were your top so three rappers knows. of all time? I know oh. that's a, such a cliche question, but I know the fans want to know, and that's why we get asked that so much. I can't even answer it, bro. To be honest, five even. Huh? Five? Favorite? Like not even best? Like no yeah, specific order? Best. Your favorite? Your go-to? No specific order. To ease, to take the fucking stress off it. I'm gonna say in no order. Yeah. Here's here's five rappers. I wouldn't. I'm gonna forget people, but here's a couple that had an impact on me in no order. Obviously, Tupac, mm -hmm. Eminem, yeah. nice, Scarface. Ooh. Yes. Bro, he's so yeah. underrated, man. Retarded. Like, he he needs his flowers yeah. while yo, he's still yo, here, man. Yo, actually. Outcast. Mm. Yeah. Outcast. Okay. Actually, hold on. Let me let me let it, let me reiterate. Outcast bumped them all the way up. Yeah. All the way, man. Really? Facts. Th those dudes are southern rappers, and I'm an underground guy who raps East Coast style, but nobody knows. But dude, Outcast mm. my biggest influence. Oh yeah. Nasty you know I mean? like, wow. Man, why do you Outcast. think that is? Like Pat, okay, you you're obviously we're from the East Coast. You do battle rap, you do like lyrical battle rap shit, like your, but, your biggest influences are like the complete opposite, like West Coast gangster shit. And then you just say you do East Coast hip hop. Your biggest influence is like some Southern smooth shit. Like how, why do you think that is? Why do I you had think older brothers just like you born the same year, actually. Yeah. And, uh, um, and, and at that time, West Coast was kind of running shit. But also my father was a bass player and like a pretty big bass player. Okay. So like the funk was in my, in my blood immediately. I, I, I'm watching my dad every day play this funky ass shit. And he was like really good. And so like, you know, West Coast bases are shit off like really funky bass lines yeah, and stuff like that. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. That, that's how it was put on to me. And I really like artists that I can believe, like you said about Tupac. So yeah. if I want to listen to gangster rap, I'm going to listen to some gangster dudes that fucking give me goosebumps like i know he's telling the truth he might not yeah. be as technical as that but that guy but he's telling the fucking truth you know what i mean yeah and it's so yeah. different for me because we're east coast and that's so different so when i go to the west coast i'm naming off all these west coast rappers they're like how the fuck do you know these guys like these guys are like bums in our city and you know all the shit off by heart it's because yeah. it's just different to me it's like going to another city be like yo that girl's sexy as fuck she's beautiful and a I've seen her around for 10 years. Yeah. You're like, right. oh, Becky? Yuck, yeah, bro. You can have it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Facts. Yeah, what time are we at? I got to go to work. Oh, really? Well, if you don't mind. He's a prostitute. So I think it's about time bills, you though. ship out, man. Yo, I got to go, oh. too, man. I got to get this fucking van rental back to the Absolutely. airport. Let's wrap it up. Me, man. Listen, man. Stay tuned, Five. I just want to say thank you for coming through, man. Yo, thanks next, for having me, Next bro. time, Respect. I will 100% be at your show, and yeah. fucking we'll kick it's it. It's all good, man. Yeah, it's man. All yes. good. Well, uh, yes, sir. Yeah, you know how it is as a, yes, as a dad. Yes, I'm, you know what I mean? Yes, man. Yeah, it is our first guest. It's big, man. Real shit. Real Cool, man. I popped the fucking guest cherry out here. Yeah. It's been a pleasure, man. Can you say bars for us right quick? Bars. Man. How, wait, how do you say it in the West Coast? Like, how would you I just say bars? Bars. Yeah. Hey, shout out my man, my man, Big Term over there, man. Listen, hey. he's a staple in this shit. That's my guy, man. Yeah. Love that. They guy want to us death. to hold up some product too, some underground snacks or something. Oh yeah, he was asking. Oh, and you said you hate being called underground snacks. That's the title for sure. Oh, is that? What well, listen. Yeah. We'll, no, we'll do <laughs> that. We'll do that for sure. We'll do that. <laughs> but this is just the podcast for now. So, yo, shout out DJ IV on the ones and twos. Can't yeah. do it without him. Matt Ingram behind the fucking camera doing it right now. Yeah. Listen, love yeah. you guys. Much appreciation. Subscribe. Mary Jane Smoke Shop. Hey, Mary yes, Jane sir. Smoke Shop episode all day, man. Five. Try City Gold, yep. episode five. Peace out, man. Thank you. Snack Peace. the Ripper. We out. Booyah.